Hello, everybody. Welcome in. Welcome in. We are getting ready to run some uh, Dungeons and Dragons, uh, episode 46, I think. Yeah. Yes, 46 of Lost Minds and the Mad Mage. We are about to rock some stuff, I think. They were getting prepped to uh, head into uh, Xanathar's Lair to deal with him in one way or another. They've got a plan, but who knows if it's going to work. Uh, I guess we'll find out. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Good day, everybody. Welcome to the game. Do a quick Discord check, make sure my shit's working. Anybody? Anybody say something? Okay, there we go. No, no. Uh, my, my mic is working. Discord's not. I gotta change that. Nobody can hear you. Okay, that didn't work either. Oh, wait. Say something again? Yeah, yeah, so... There we go. You just have to... Yeah. You just have to reselect us in your Discord. Yeah, yeah. Audio. But w once I did, like, you were talking, it wasn't working at first, so... <laughs> it's oh, working now, though. We're, we're, we're good. Yeah, yeah. A little second to kick in. So, uh, welcome to the game, everybody. And would somebody like to give us a rundown of what's happening, where we're at, and what uh, what's planned? Yeah, I can. Um, so, we headed to the surface last session. And uh, after we got our new companion and got paid out from the uh, Drugar, we ended up heading to the to surface. And... Um, Val spent the day chatting with our new companion as well as the Harper. I went and did some shopping. I bought some arrows and some silks to wrap up uh, Ren's axe in. And uh, Ray spent the day um, in her room alone. But then we brought back the silk to her. And uh, we think we just settled in for the night. Or I, I actually no. I, I think we met Charlaxa. in the morning. I think it's in the morning now. We all met in your, in John or sorry in Val's room. Yes, I I, I did get um, uh, I did get to check then, out the last sorry, five minutes. Say, at night, I met with Jarlaxel, and he wants us to find his uh, mage guy. He I can't remember the name. I apologize. Um, from the Xanathar Guild, so it kind of aligns with what we're working on already. And then in the morning, I told everybody about my meeting with Jarlaxle. Right, right. But you didn't use his name. The name yeah, of that name. dude was... Moment, and I shall find it. <clears throat> uh, I believe it was Narl. N-A-R apostrophe L. Oh, yeah, that sounds... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Xanathar Drow. I did write that down. Okay. Um. So I believe when you guys left, you had... Uh, when we left off, you guys had been... Uh, were you guys discussing a plan, I think? I think we were. Okay. Yeah, we had to go and talk to the Harpers up top, though, to see if they'd give us aid, basically. Because originally they said they'd try to find someone in place, so now we've got to figure out if they can help us or if we're going to be on a solo mission to do it. Okay. So, we will zip you back to the Yawning Portal. Parallax is no longer there. Alright. So, you guys have your your gar, you've got uh is everybody here yeah it looks like everybody's on the map okay so as you guys head back downstairs um the people are just starting to come in um for a later breakfast i know you guys already had breakfast so i think it's probably about nine in the morning uh, yeah that sounds about right some of the some of the higher class people uh you know those with lots of rings and jewelry on are heading in and taking seats. Um, Matrim is currently 
uh, at the bar, or wandering around, playing his, his lute. He sings, collecting coins. Why is this battle music? There we go. Are you trying to say we're going to get into a fight? <laughs> no, no. I, uh, since uh, I, I don't have to select certain songs anymore, since uh, Spotify isn't uh, saving my VODs. So I've just I've just got it on shuffle now, and it's like all of a sudden it turned to battle music. I'm like, nope, wrong time. But yeah, he's uh, killing he, your buzz. <laughs> he's he's wandering around, um, playing his tunes. As you guys come down the uh, the stairs that are non-existent on this map, what would you all like to do? Uh, well, let's see if we, is it like pretty busy? Is there like a, a table that's maybe a little farther away from everybody by like a couple seats? Uh, yeah, there's an empty table over here. Yeah, sure. Yeah, as long as there's not anybody too close to us. And Matrim continues to make his way around the tavern. Uh, a waitress comes by. Hey, you be wanting a drink? Um, Zin will will nod. Yes, that would be that would be nice. Uh, I'll take an ale and then he'll point. To, he'll kind of like point to Val and you. Fruit juice. Fruit juice. Fruit juice. And apparently a fruit juice for him. And then I'll point to um. What's our new friend's name? Rock? Uh, friends and allies. Kugra Stonecutter. Ah, uh, Kugra. Like, Kugra and for yourself. Mead. Breakfast of champions. Then, <laughs> then we'll chuckle and nod, and then he'll say, and one for him, and then, uh, of course, a milk for a friend. Very well. She walks off. And Matrim continues his way, stops at the table, um, plays a little bit. As he starts to leave, the waitress comes back with your drinks. She plops down four mugs on the table. An ale, a mead, a milk, and Val, yours looks like a uh, fruit. But as you, you take a sniff, you realize this is, this is definitely wine. <laughs> Meets the definition. We'll go with that. I, uh, you one silver, please. I'll pair. Y'all have a good, uh, good afternoon. Let me know if you need anything else. Zin will, uh, thank Val for the, uh, for buying him his, his drink. My pleasure. Enjoy. Uh, for your health. Matrim will nod and lift his mug. Sorry, my bad. Uh, no, you're fine. <laughs> Matrim leaves that table after uh, collecting a couple coins, and he starts to bypass this table here with the single dwarf. And the dwarf says, I, I don't be getting no song, Bard? What is this? Oh, well, I assumed you, being solo, didn't want me to serenade you. Ah. Could use a good serenade and but he pauses for a moment and plays a little ditty. Uh ditty, not not ditty. Uh no, not. No, you don't want to get you don't want to get canceled. <laughs> <laughs> ditty with two T's, not two D's. Um He he plays a little bit. <laughs> so he just like reported. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what's up, Snorlax? Um, he continues uh, by after collecting his... Uh, you see the, the dwarf push a coin towards him as the song ends. And Matrim kind of looks at it. Uh, thanks. It's quite obvious there's a copper 
his hand. Kind of shrugs it off and walks uh, up to you guys. A song. A little merrymaking to start your day, adventurers. Maybe something light and airy? Very well. Uh, I see you have a, a seat there. Do you mind if I sit? Please. He sits down and he begins to strum. Um, it's loud enough that uh, not many people are going to be hearing any conversation at the table, but quiet enough that you guys will probably be able to uh, do a slight whisper without and still be able to hear each other. Ray just like sinks in her seat a bit because she does not want to hear happy music right now. I mean, I wouldn't say it's happy. It's it's quiet. It's I'm not gonna say it's melancholic, but it's also not uh not necessarily happy. Like I was about to say traveling kind of music. Huh? Like kind of muted. It's just like a couple a couple chords and a Enough to make a, a simple tune. Yeah, yeah. It's uh it's it's it, it is very light. But like not like supermarket music. Oh god. Elevator music. <laughs> Nowadays supermarket <laughs> plays <laughs> like Taylor Swift <laughs> and shit. Trust me. Worked in a grocery store yeah, for years. It's, it's true. It's fucking horrendous. That's why we we would play a stereo with our own music and blast it until we couldn't fucking hear the goddamn speakers. From the store. Well, on top of that, it's like the same forty songs over and over again. Yeah, yeah, we we heard same the same song, song. At nine o'clock every day. Yeah, <laughs> just same fucking like uh, through a, through one shift, man. Maybe like six times we'd hear the same fucking rotation. It was fucking brutal, and they they play that shit for all year until Christmas time, and then it was Christmas music, which is even worse. Anyways, which is just Mariah Carey. <laughs> oh, dude. Okay, uh, I know I'm. I, I don't like to get off topic, but <clears throat> one of uh, Mitch when he was when I was playing in his game, um, one of the Christmas baddies he would put in the game was basically a, a fucking Mariah Carey. Oh my! Yeah, God. like it, it, like but like a succubus looking Mariah Carey with like you know six inch fucking uh, razor teeth and like. In, in her Santa fucking outfit and elves and shit. I don't even know what to say. So he was a big fan of Mariah Carey. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. He he worked there too and he knew that, that they did that for Christmas and how much I That's fucking hated funny. it. So he, he let me get last kill. It was just like a joke. I, I put nice. yeah. I put fucking four air four crossbow bolts in her, one in each eye, uh one in her uh, vocal cords, and then one in her forehead. That was the killing Whoa, blow. Oh, tell us how you really feel. Yeah, yeah. Right. Anyways, um, yeah, so he's playing a, a light ditty. And he, as uh, he's playing it, he, he kind of uh, whispers slightly, it looked like you all wanted to speak with me. Yes, yes, very, very much so. I, um, we wanted to connect with you on, uh, I'm sure, the conversation that you've been having with the, uh, the Harpers about Skullport. Indeed. Well, you guys approached him last night about this, right? Hello? Hello, can you guys hear me? Now. We can now. Can now. Oh, what the fuck? Uh, I said you guys had approached them, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, and then uh, the the Harpers were supposed to be talking to people on the surface during our time down there as well. So they're supposed to be filling them in because they were going to try to find a replacement for Skullport after we clean it, clean it up, basically. Okay. Uh. says uh unfortunately the harpers are not willing to well we don't have an army um we have spies that's what we do we we basically 
get information and then give it to the parties who can do it. Um, we are not so much in. So player knowledge, they are more like the CIA, but you know, yeah, more yeah, good. So, so sorry, just just to refresh your memory, we weren't talking about having them take leadership. We we're have we we're talking about having them find a group that would take leadership because it'd be an advantage. It'd be advantageous, advantageous for that group yeah yeah no i i I, more of a business style way i remember that but i thought you you would also ask for help like um like help overthrowing oh oh, sorry i thought you were talking about like trying to find a replacement no no oh god no 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 yeah yeah no okay sorry that's that's on me uh but you guys had also asked about like helping the actual overthrow right we did i did yeah 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 Yeah, like like Uh, yeah they're they're not so much they they can yeah. give information to the uh to the other side uh or or like like you said have somebody actually move in and take over leadership um but to actually engage in the overthrowing like fighting that one's not a possible possibility okay understood that is um, sad to hear, but that that's okay. That was a that was a bonus. As as for getting someone in place afterwards, do you have someone in mind as of yet, or is that still a work in progress? We do actually. Um, we have contacted somebody that says they know you. In fact, I believe uh, uh, you, you may have met. Uh, Siladar of the Lord's Alliance. Oh, long time no here. That is a long time no here. That is that is very good to hear. It's very, very good to hear. Well, uh it looks like the Lord's Alliance will, will take over there. Um <clears throat> but they cannot be here for at least another week or so. And if you're going to get rid of the Xanathar guild and the others, it might be advantageous to at least get rid of one of those groups first, whether it is through the warfare or subterfuge. So I don't, at least one of us can say that word correctly the first time. Right. (laughs) Because it was not me. Um, Good, good. We, then it's it sounds that we we may have some time to wait. Uh, we wouldn't want to start this before they have arrived. Well, this is true. However, um, subterfuge would mean having the fight each other, which I believe you had mentioned might have been your plan. If you wait yes. too long, and which once the Lord's Alliance get here, it will be too long. Hmm. Uh, Xanathar might have already taken over Skull Island, you know, the fortress. And if that happens, I don't think the Lord's Alliance is going to stand much of a chance. Hmm, understood. If, if we were to take advantage and all goes to plan, would you be able to have somebody step in for the interim while we wait for the Lord's Alliance to arrive? Other than chaos. we wouldn't want it to last even for a few days. Other than the Duogar and the, uh, excuse me, the Denethar's Guild, there's not really anybody down there that can match power that quick, or even would probably attempt to snatch power. There might be a couple, but they would be solos. They wouldn't be able to amass the kind of forces they would need to actually hold it um, longer than a day or two. Especially once the Lord's Understood. Alliance got there. Understood. And if worse comes to worse, we could stay there for a few days while we wait. I'm sure we could talk to our, our friend, um, what was the mage's name again? Uh, on the third level, the Black Dragon Dragonborn? Sorry, say that again. Uh, Black Dragonborn. The Black Dragonborn. Yeah. Oh, 
Because we can ask, we could ask him to help support us a bit in the interim for a few days, just in case, <clears throat> as well as like the barkeep. Uh, she might know a couple people down there that would help us too, right? Remember the Black Dragonborn's name? That's the one I don't remember. Uh, babe, do you have it in your notes somewhere? I have Felrax. That's it. Nice. He could do. Uh, DM to player question. You guys have not mentioned to him about uh, Garlaxel and Bregan Darth, correct? No, we have not. Yes, uh, I've heard of the name Felrax. Okay. <clears throat> On him. And he was in middle school. Yes. You remember the place he ran? Val Grows Fortress or something? Valgro, Valgor's fortress. Okay. And it's on the third floor. Third floor. Yeah. So that'd be. Yep. So oh, I'm in the wrong hand. Because <clears throat> we had to go across all, around all those like bridge things to get to them. Right. 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 Sorry, I literally pulled somebody like. <laughs> That's so there off it is. topic right now. Elrax dragging me. Oh, he's copper. copper. Oh, no, he's actually, he looks like a copper, but he's actually a black. He's in disguise. Yeah. Because I could see, doesn't know I we could know. see through it because he gave me a thing to see through it. Right, right. I gotta, I gotta take better notes for myself, man. Because... It was a cool moment, so you know. I think I think that's why I gave you that. <laughs> I think you used it, and I was like, you know what? It's the first time you used it. Let's throw him a bone here because it does not that's say that. See, <laughs> that's how we could see that the elithid uh, was uh, an elithid was through my monocle. Right, uh, right. Gives me true sight. Yeah, because the handout does not say anything about uh, him being actually black colored. Yeah, yeah, that was because you gave me the monocle, and then when I had to put the monocle on, I was able to see that he was a black dragon. Whoa, and... racist! <laughs> okay, I'm touch any don't of cancel me. Um, I'm just kidding. But yeah, so th that's how I was able to see that, and that's also how I was able to see which one was the elithid. Yeah, when we fought them, but I have to give him the monocle back. That is so. correct. I can't have you being able to see everything. I was going to say, because that'd be pretty busted. <laughs> yeah, at this know. level, that, that is a pretty busted item. True Sight is, like, that's usually an, uh, a fucking third or fourth tier item. Um, pretty good. And yeah. I don't think you said it was required any attunement or anything like that no, either. No, so it doesn't. More ridiculous. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I guess. Uh, wait, did, did you say he's a black dragonborn? I heard he was copper. Looks can be deceiving, but what really matters is the character of the individual. Of course. Well, I would expect nothing less coming from you. After all, your Same heritage chuckles. is not exactly, uh... Well, let's just say it's colorful. <laughs> Very. Uh, I see what you did there. <laughs> wow that no no that is that's not the way it was supposed yeah to come out. yeah okay <laughs> damn it's getting it's getting Jesus really touchy Christ. Here. 
Uh, he he kind of stammers as uh, as Val says that. Uh, no, I I mean, I hope you know what I actually mean. I do. I'm just pulling your leg. You're good. Good. Well, um, let me do a, a little bit of digging. Um, tell you what. In the meantime, do what you need to do. Uh, as soon as it is done, come back and see me. And I'll let you know you've selected to kind of fill the void in the intern towards Alliance. Zen nods. Thank you very much. I, I, I appreciate that. All right, I just look up something real quick. Yeah. Not have said copper, black. Yeah, because I know he spits acid down. Traditionally, they're dark heritage. So. Uh, yeah, black. Uh, anything chromatic, or just, sorry, not chromatic. Yeah, chromatic is uh normally evil. Also, can I just point out that we're trying to overthrow the corrupt government right now? <laughs> <laughs> this is sorry, this is I... practice for real life. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Just had to say it. Uh, you know what? It does not seem like Dragonborns necessarily are uh, aligned based on their color like dragons are. Alright, cool. Alright, I'll let me make things here. So, um, are you off to take care of business today? Stop playing combat music. I I swear if you're gonna make me kill this man on the spot, I'll be very upset. No, my my fucking my, oh. my fantasy uh, uh playlist is shuffling. The table, <laughs> piercing a scimitar through his chest. <laughs> Middle of an open bar know. in town. Already been yeah. arrested once. Yeah, it would be great. But ah, you're about to become Yellow. a two-time loser. <laughs> you'd be lucky if this time I'd be dead though. Yeah, you, you oh, player man. player knowledge. Dernan was once an adventurer. Oh yeah, I figured tough, tough adventure takes over a, a, a bar that has a, a dungeon underneath. Oh, I can't do it long enough. Right on theme. Yeah. <clears throat> so. Uh, and with that, as well, we are decided. And he looks around the table for uh, a consensus. Might as well strike while the iron's hot. He nods and he yeah. stands, um, finishes his song in the next uh, about five seconds, and bows. I will see you soon. And he turns away and starts heading to another table. Starting to play another song as he gets close. And you can see that uh, the way he's leaning into this table of uh, two rather uh, homely-looking ladies, trying to schmooze them, a little charismatic. He's kind of leaning in and sits down at the table, and he's got his back to you, but it is uh, the way he's leaning from one side and looking while he sings, and leaning to the other side and looking that one deep in the eyes as he sings. They're they're kind of they're swooning a little bit. Man's a player. Don't hate the player. Trying to be a sugar baby. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> of course. <laughs> uh, um, uh, Zin will look at the group. Um, does anyone need to do anything before we we head back? I'm as ready as I'm going to get. Ray just like nods. Well, then we'll have to go back to what was that lady's name again? I'm so bad with names today. The lady that teleported us up here to where that. <clears throat> that um, building is. 
Um, she didn't come with you. She's still down there. Oh, is is there somebody on the other side to teleport us down? Nope. She is literally oh. the only one who can use teleportation magic in or out of the place. Oh, shit. We're we got we to hustle. We're huffing it. All right. All right. Then we definitely best get the get the get on the go. Well, in that case, you guys head over to Dernan. Tell him that you're ready to go. I. Oh yeah, is that? Sorry. Uh, side note: Is that does that teleportation thing on the first floor now work? Or no? What teleportation thing? There we there went, were when like we found symbols the revenant... on the wall that let us go from so you don't have to go from like the first floor to the thirteenth floor you can just like go through a door or whatever. Uh, have you guys figured out how to get through it yet? No, we were we were hoping that when we went to Skullport we would figure out how to get through it. Shame. We could we ask them about it and then they told us it was only the lady that could get us back. There was no other way. And I think when player to DM, when we spoke about it, they didn't write away in the book, is what you told us. Uh, the gates? Yeah. No, no, the, the gates are something different. I think I might have missed up for asking. Okay, cause yeah, because I, I thought we asked about it when we met this woman. That was one of the questions that we were asking, is how to use those, because we, we couldn't come back. Oh, correct. Uh... Yeah, she's not going to give you that information. There's a reason. Okay. Uh, I, okay. I can promise yeah. you that. There, there's a reason she's not going to tell you. That's something you guys will have to uh, either get lucky or figure out. Okay. Then we will need to huff it. Turn and say, yeah. Uh, as he leads you guys over to the thing. Platform. All right, first one on. I'll uh, I'll head down first this time, and I'll right. hand him a gold. And I'll fly down at the same time after giving him a gold. Okay. I'll go down too. All right. And uh, the Jorgar says, hey, "You guys, as, as you guys are flying down, you can hear the Jorgar. What I gotta be giving you a gold for? You're just lowering us down." You can hear him kind of arguing with Dernan before he, uh, ah, fine. And he, nobody sees it, but he hands him a gold coin. And Zin, I believe you have control, uh, during non combat situations of money uh, and such. Uh, oh, yeah, I, I have control of his character sheet. Yeah, just I can't move him around right now. Can't? No, I can't. He just shows up on my screen. Same, same. But I think today is John's day. <clears throat> it is. Oh, okay. Aha. So John. John trying to sneak out. <laughs> <laughs> done and done. Yeah, edited and controlled by all players. You guys can't move his token. I can't. I can't move his token. At least it doesn't even say his health above his token for me right now. Maybe if I drag time. him in. Or try now. Now I can. Yeah. Now I can. All right. There you go. I must have brought it out and then hadn't given anybody control afterward. All right. So you guys all head down. Now, do you guys want to role play going through the bazaar, or do you guys want to skip ahead to hitting the uh, third floor? Uh, Fast travel, man. <laughs> well, I, I do have one thing to stop off for in the bazaar. Uh, sure. The arrows aren't ready yet, but the uh, silver shackles and uh, bit would be. Okay, we'll let him do that then. We'll we'll stop there for that. All right, and we're good to go. I uh, put you on the wrong one. <sighs> Fine. Sorry. Just kidding. Right. Oh, Ren is not there. Uh, did you summon Yuka in the morning, by the way? Uh, he says yes, he's just in the washroom. Okay. And did you summon your familiar, Val? 
I will. I'll go ahead and summon an owl. Alright, so you guys get down to the first floor, which I believe is where the bazaar is, isn't it? Nope, the bazaar is on the second, second level. Awesome. Alright. Let's try this one more time! Fuck your characters are level. Or these to the bazaar. Oh, sweet. You're already in there. Nice. Bring out your familiar. And, uh, um, call it. Google? Yes. What did you call me? You're, you're, I didn't call you nothing. Cougar. I was joking. Cougar the Cougar. And it sounds like Cougar. I got bit by a spider like five times. Of course, on my shoulder blade, uh, I can you should barely reach burn it. your house to the ground. No, no, I, I, I scared him. I think he got caught in my shirt. But I'd been leaning forward in my chair and I leaned back and suddenly I felt the stabbing. I thought it was a bee at That's first. It's called a tank top, by the way. No, uh, oh, well, this one is, yes. The one I was wearing was sleeveless, not tank top. So, ha. Huh. I don't think it's about fucking clothes, too. Ha <laughs> ha. Sure. Yeah, you guys, uh. sleeves is a tank top. Nope, nope. Sleeveless one is just without the sleeves. A tank top has, you know, the, the deeper chest, and it's, you know, wider at the sides here. We'll miss know it alls. <laughs> yes, yeah, so you guys arrive back in the bazaar. Um, it is actually quite busy. Um, <clears throat> it seems that with your recent undertakings of slapping around the Xanathar's Guild, um, this bazaar is actually getting quite popular. <clears throat> you see all kinds of. One sec. <laughs> I'm sitting here talking with my fucking mic muted, like, why is nobody answering? <laughs> Rookie mistake. I just thought you needed a really long minute. I was like, oh, man. I thought you were minute. taking a poop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. 
Like, I'm sitting there like, uh, so you guys didn't hear any descriptions of anybody in this market, huh? Nope. Cool. Nope. Cool. Nope, cool. Nothing. So, yeah, you guys see plenty of, um, elves. Uh, you see a few drow, um, mostly keeping to themselves, uh, walking around the market, looking at stuff. Uh, there's some Duergar, there's some dwarves, deep gnomes, and we even see something that, uh, these creatures that we've never seen before. But somebody might have heard of them before, so I will allow one of you, you guys choose to. It sounds like a Zen thought. Actually, no. It's probably more of a race. I could do it. Oh, good thinking. Duh. By the way, Ray, your your picture is has blue hair. There she is. Thirteen. You have heard uh, tell of that resembles humanoid like mushrooms. However, can't put your finger on it right now. But several of them are walking around the market as well, trading. However, mushroom stand you often go to used to be some raised voices. Um, one of which is actually sorry. You hear one raised voice. I believe they actually psionics. Correctly. The mushroom people? Yeah, I think you, they do. Yeah. Do you hear one raised goblin voice? Ah! Stop, stop! Stop talking in my brain! Ray will, like, nudge, like, Zinn, and be like, like, point him in to pay attention to that direction. Then I'll take a look over and, and nod. And Ray will be like, something's wrong. I, well, why don't we go see what's going on? I can't hear you when you, you all speak at once. Slow down. And you still see three of them um, kind of staying there. Uh, although a couple of the Mykonids stand off a little bit. Um, but it is starting to draw a crowd. Many of the goblins start to head in that direction. And as you guys approach, you notice the mushroom-like creature. Um, seem to have a fistful of, of mushrooms. And Although you can't hear what they're saying, they are pointing at this, and um, although their facial expressions are hard to read, um, they look upset about something. And the mushrooms that just happen to be in hands are the ones that you're buying, okay? Uh, Ray will kind of like I guess, like, push her way to the front of the crowd and just be like, ask the shopkeep, like, is everything okay? They're they're all talking at once, and, and in my head, I don't I don't like it. They they're they're saying I'm selling their children. Ooh. I don't know what they're talking about. They're they're just. They're mushrooms. I heard you. Shut up. <laughs> he looks at one of the myconids and he shouts that. I don't know how to handle this. <laughs> the uh, the paladin steps up. Says, "I right, let's all take a breather here. No need for nothing to be coming to blows now. Uh, one of the Mykonids turns to him and um, 
And he, as he stares at him, you hear nothing, but the Durgar says, I understand, but maybe they did not understand that. You know, maybe we speak nicely and and explain to them and maybe they'll, they'll, oh, oh, you tried. And they're still, will not let them go, huh? I see, I see. Well, let's, let's not make this any worse than it is. I wouldn't want to have to stop a brawl. Nobody would like how I would stop a brawl. And the Mykonids suddenly seem rather defensive. Uh, they seem to back away slightly. And they start to tense up. They make no move that yet, though. Jesus Christ, Valorant! <laughs> no, I, I, I thought I had my mouse on the pointer, but I had it on the ruler. So when I was dragging the left button, it looked like I was about to blow everyone up. But I'm really not trying. To hear it. <laughs> oh my no god! Cord. Sorry, I'm just so used to Valorant's first instinct being either magic missile or fireball. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> what? Uh, I'm innocent. As a hardened criminal. Gonna... <gasps> so I was going to step forward and say to the goblin, how many of these mushrooms that are their children do you have? Ah, uh, it's a... Uh, these ones, it's, it's the same one she's been buying. As he points at Ray, and all the Mykonids look at Ray. Ray, in your head, you hear, Why do you buy our dead children? Ray just like puts her hands up like on like on her chest or whatever and like slowly steps back and she's like I it, I don't know what you're talking about. You answer in your head or out loud? Out loud. What are you talking about? You bought a bunch of them off me. So I'd love to buy some now and perhaps return them to these nice people so we can all get along peacefully. What do you think? That way you get your coin, they get their young, and everyone's happy. Ray, how much was they selling them to you per bushel? Uh, let me double check. Was it a gold for ten? I think it was. It was something ridiculous because you made, you said, "Oh shoot, I shouldn't have done that." Afterwards, it was like ten for one gold or something like that. Yeah, something like that. I'm just trying to find it in my notes, but because I thought I wrote it in my uh, pack, but I didn't. All right. Um. Then he's gonna say if it was a gold for, sorry, ten gold for one. Uh, other no, way ten, around. Yeah, ten for one gold. Ten for one gold. Well, they're they're demanding all of them, and uh, I have well, about. How many do you have? I have I have forty, and they're. He pauses for a minute. Four gold each. No, sorry, oh, sorry. Uh, wait. It, I said <laughs> one for one gold so it for would ten, be four right? Gold. Yeah, it would be four gold total. Yeah, it's, yeah, one gold. <laughs> He's going to say four gold each. Ray will just like you, uh, sh shake her head. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> seems like you have a problem to deal with on your own, my friend. Have a good day. And Val will start to walk away from the incident. Okay. 
I'm not trying to take a uh, cougar with me. But Val's going to keep half an ear out to see how things play out. Sure. Well, mm -hmm. Are you muted, Savage? No. No. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I mean, I'm glad you asked, though. I'm just getting something ready in case. Fireball! Da, 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 da. That sounds like a really good idea right now, not in game, but yeah. Had I some in the house, I'd be drinking right now. Oh, you like it? Yeah. I love cinnamon. It's my favorite flavor. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Back when I was a kid, we used to get cinnamon extract from the uh, uh, drugstore and soak toothpicks in it. Oh, that's actually really smart. That is the most Texan thing I think I've ever heard in my life. And I'm pretty sure you said you weren't even in Texas until you were an adult. <laughs> <laughs> no, this was this was Colorado. Yeah. yeah, that's still the most Texan thing I've ever heard in my life. There you go. Okay. My oh my. Um, hear the goblin. Uh, look at one of the mic in it. I wouldn't do that if I was you. You're what? Four? Look around you. How many more do we have than you? At this point, one comes in. Nope, not that one. Oh, that shouldn't be there. That's that's the wrong one. One of the Let's go with This one. You guys watch as one just walks over. It exhales, uh, Well, as I wouldn't say, you see it kind of like tense, and spores begin to fly from under its um, um, its hood, uh, like the hood cap on its head, and fly straight at this uh goblin. It is a con save. Wow, just makes it. The uh <laughs> the goblin begins to uh choke and cough. It shakes it away. 
Oh, God, that, that smells, you moldy bastard. And a sword is drawn. Now, do you guys wish to take part or just watch it all happen? Uh, I mean, this well, seems to be like a, a disagreement between trader and consumer, effectively, right? I mean, I guess. Yeah, but also, like, um, do we want to risk ruining a relationship with a vendor? Like, I don't know, because I buy my mushrooms from them. Basically, your choices are you can side with the Myconids, you can side with the Goblins, uh, which means the whatever side you're not siding with is not going to like you in the future. Um, however, if you completely abstain, you may or may not um, piss off both sides, depending on an, uh, a roleplay interaction afterward. Can I ask a question? Yes. So if we decide where the goblins would kill the lichenists, how much could Ray theoretically harvest from one of their bodies? <laughs> oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> I don't hate that idea. Um, well, because right. uh, the, the way the spores are... Um, it was mostly just a joke. I mean, no, it's, it's a good question. Joke or not, it's a good fucking question. Um... I'm going to say that more than likely, I mean, there might be a fair amount. Might be a fair amount. However, um, I don't know. I mean, there's plenty of different ways that could go. I'll be honest. Well, Mel. Mel's going to try and go the peaceful approach and try and grapple the mic into his northwest and vocally urge all to remain calm and stop their efforts to kill each other. Hey. Yeah, Ray will like stand up between them with her arms out and be like, enough, and just like yell it really loud. Uh, yeah, Ku has been standing by but silent. Please, please, everybody, just, let's remain calm. This is a market, after all. You wish to war, at least, please, please at least take it outside. Um, Val, you may give me a grapple check. Uh, which is a contested athletics. Aha. Uh -huh. Guidance. Uh, I believe you have to touch to cast guidance. You are on the other side. Of the room. Oh, boo. So, question, Savage. If you have something that increases your strength, does it translate into skills? Yes, it does. Or does it... What, do you, what, what do you got? Ogre strength? Yeah. Okay, so if you dragged it from the compendium, it should have already changed your strength, right? Oh, I see. So, my leg is now four. That makes sense. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah, unless you roll a fucking nat one, I'm pretty sure you got it. Actually, yeah. Yeah, you rolled a 14. Oh, I didn't even see that. Yeah, you, you grapple this one. Um, But the goblin has already drawn his sword, and he's waiting to see what the Mykonids do. And... Let's see. This one, probably. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, okay. Um, did grapple one of them, though. And it feels like at first he's fighting back. But then this one here... Sorry, no, this one seems to... Uh, Val, you can't see it, but Ray, you can. This one next to you turns to look in this direction. And Val, the one you're, you're grappling, um, manages to stop struggling. And then he looks back at the vendor for a moment. And the goblin says, yeah, yeah, come back with an army. I dare ya. Get the fuck yep. out. At that point, I'll let the mic in it go. 
there's 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 stopping a fight and then there's letting this guy be a dick and I didn't sign up for that. Or maybe wow. I did. I'm about to get my ass kicked. As you let go, as you let go, this one looks at you and he kind of looks you up and down and um give me Do an a insight. winky face and a kiss. Give me give me an insight. I unzip my trousers. Jesus Yikes. Christ. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Twenty-two. Utter disdain. You feel if you meet this one again, not in a bazaar, he's coming for you. In fact, I'm gonna mark him just so I know which one it is. Cool. And as they go to leave, these two goblins come down. Uh, sorry, actually, one of them comes down, unlocks the door, and then steps back. And the rest of them start to head out the door. However, <laughs> as the door is open, the first two step through. As the first two step through, you hear the sound of slapping of feet, or rather, squishy mushroom-like parts. And they start to charge into back into the room. As they get to here, these two immediately die before anything can be done. And at this point, we're going to roll some initiative. Give me a sec, I'll bring it up. You may go ahead. Oops, I deleted somebody. Zen at a 21.12, I think. Or 21.2, excuse me. Yeah. And I deleted. Oh, you're killing it today. Yeah, yeah. Definitely am. Definitely am. And, okay. So, Ray got Valoran. Got Stonecutter and Zen. Goes at the end. Okay, so. You bring out all the stop blocks. Oh, my, my, this devolved in a hurry. It's your fault. <laughs> Could have just let us go fight Xanathar free, but no. Gotta get us weak first. I mean, it, it, there's a lot more of your side than there is of them, right? So... Just saying, yeah, yeah. you don't gotta burn your your fucking biggins. You know what I'm saying? All right, so we got that one and that one. Yuck! Have his yes. Yuck does have his. Alright, there's Jack. 
Who else we got? Uh, I don't think the Duergars. Duergars are mostly going to stay out of it because they are business people, so they do business with everybody. Um, who else we got? Oh, we got all the Mykonids. Right. Tell me how I have four monitors and it's still not enough. All right, got that one. I got this one. Two more. I'm first. No, I I, sh I I I got twenty. Yeah, I haven't. Uh, you, you guys can actually uh, yeah. if you type uh, mouse over the number. Oh, I can type in there. Yeah, okay. and just make sure you hit enter. If you click off without hitting enter, it won't save it. Oh, cool. It worked. Or, okay, hang out of it. What the hell is this? That is not actually a ghost. Have you guys noticed that if it doesn't have an icon, they they put out fucking new things so it doesn't look like a blue white featureless person? Oh, I didn't notice that. I didn't notice either. That's yes. weird. Cool. It, it's so much better. <laughs> But it also looks yeah. fucking strange. It's better than nothing, that's for sure. I'm just gonna... Commoner. So they're not gonna be in combat, but... Like I said, the place is busy, right? Alrighty, so actually I'm gonna put them in turn order so they can get out. All right, and let's see. Let's start with Sovereign. He's just going to go at the end of turn order, I think. Uh, we got Yak.
All right, I think that's about as good as it's going to get. So let's reorder this. Zin, as these uh, mushroom like creatures burst in into the room. Yes? I'm going to interrupt, but Kugra is uh, rolled a 17.11 and he's on zero. Uh, I guess you didn't hear me, eh? So if you click, oh, on, click on the number and type it in and hit enter, you, you, you're able to change it. That is interesting. Oh, I'm with you. Derp. All right, so do that, and then I'll reorder it again. Sorry, there we go. No worries. Okay. Yeah, so Zin is up first. Uh, as these creatures rush in and kill two of the go goblins immediately. What would you like to do? Cast darkness. Cast darkness on them? Yeah, right there. All right, give me a second. Hold that if you don't mind. Whoops. Damn it. Um, oh, yeah. Cool. Linger. Okay, you can let go. Or not. What the fuck? Why didn't it linger? It's still there. I see it. Really? I don't. It disappeared on my screen. Oh. Yeah, I see it right now. Does everybody else see it? I have like a trash can to delete it or not. Not anymore. Uh, so it only shows on my screen. All right, All right so here, I'll, uh, yeah, redo oh, it. I'll do it again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there. <clears throat> Well, cool. um, and then I'll use my bonus action to tell Yukina to attack anybody that comes out, and um, I'll yell at Val. Um, it's up to you, but they're all sitting ducks right now. Hey, Val, can you post Fireball for me real quick? Glad to. So um, I'm guessing, guessing as fireball, which on your turn you may. As a heads up, though, you are not going to be able to choose a spot inside the circle. It would have to be on the outside circle, like at the edge of it. But the effect would still, you know, stretch into the circle. But since it's you can't see a point inside the circle, you can't choose at the circle. Make sense? Makes sense. Didn't he just shoot it against the wall, like right beside, like because he knows where the wall is, right? Uh, he he would still have to be able to see it. All right. Because you can't choose a point if you can't see it, right? You know what I mean. Oh, but yeah. he could choose like a rough estimate of what he think it would. That is not how magic works. Fortunately, if it says you have to choose a point, then you would have to be able to see the point. Would I have known that, or no? I'm gonna say yeah, probably. But I mean, even if he hits it right here, that still goes twenty feet in. So you're. Well, I was I was gonna say if that's the case, I'd shift my thing five feet to the left hoping that he'd hit, like, say, right beside the globe here, because it goes around corners, right? Oh, to the left. Oh, so here, so... Yeah, I try to spare the Drugar. So the Drugar would be covered in the darkness as well, right? But then that way, like, you know... So that's, to be too so that's five feet it. to the left. Another five feet, sorry. I'm just we're, If we're assuming that I know it's there, like, how it works, then yeah. Wait. Yeah, I would do it like that then. Darkness. Um, is it 20 foot radius? 
15 foot radius. 15. Oh, so you, you put it at 20 feet, my guy. So 15 foot is... It said 15 on my screen. See, this is 15 on my screen right now. And then put it in this square for me. Like uh, like the, the end point, put it in this square. Or if you're putting it here... Yeah, see, that's what I mean. It's not like... One sec, hold it there. Yeah, see? That's uh, that's that's a lot different. This It was that before. So when, whenever we do radius, because of how this thing works, uh, if you're not going to uh, a spot perfectly diagonal, it makes it larger. So whenever you guys want to do a radius like this, uh, okay. make sure you do like yeah. straight up and down or left and right, because otherwise it it doesn't get it right. Oh, yeah, clearly, because I'm like, oh, it says 15 feet, but it does look huge. Yeah, okay. And then basically bring it straight down from that point. I think that would probably make it where we'd want it. Like that? That's 20 feet. Yeah. That's perfect. Yeah, right. I, I'm I'm thinking for like if I know Val has to shoot his fireball, I want him to hit the door frame so it goes and splooshes everything. Okay. And I take it that's the end. Yeah, that's my bonus action action, and I yelled at him. Commoners begin to run. Wow, commoners rolled really well. I guess fear's a motivator, right? That's right. Works for me. <laughs> I've heard of men outrunning bears. <laughs> Very rarely. Oh, that, I mean, unless they're, you know what, what I was about, never mind. But unless they're about to die. No, I was about, I was about to say, unless they're like, you know, fucking from Ethiopia, Usain Bolt style, like, nobody's doing yes, that. No, 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 no. I, I mean, like, short distance into a house. <sighs> All right, commoners all begin to back away. Running from the fight. I think that is all of them. Ugra. What's Cougar going to do? <clears throat> I don't know Cougar well. So the question is, do you want me to try and role play him? Or do you want me to try and run him tactically? Um, I mean, he is a paladin and he's a merc, so he would probably be very tactical. Um, he already tried the whole peaceful thing, so he is uh, an oath of redemption. Um, trying to redeem creatures and himself. That answers the question. Um, but is he worships uh three different gods, peace, war, and life. So, although he wants peace, and um, he's about protection and helping, and by the way, he has quite a few reactions, so keep an eye on those. Um, <clears throat> uh, he is willing to kill to gain peace. Got it. That's where the, the war, war part comes in. So he is going to advance slightly uh, equidistant between Zin and Ray, uh, draw his battle axe and shield, and prepare uh, a reaction to attack the first Myconid that comes within range of him. Very well. Goblins all begin to get ready for the battle. Um... They start moving in. Try and get a uh, good line of sight for when these creatures rush in.
Uh, warning shout goes out, so these other ones are start going to start moving in. Valorant, it is your turn. Predictably. Draw me your circle, my guy. Crap. <laughs> yeah. Sucks to suck. <laughs> Holy shit! Okay. He's dying for the greater good. I'm sure he'll be proud. So will his parents. Wait, what? I can't see it. I think you did it just to... to oh, my bad. Let me broadcast it. Okay. Let's see. Collateral damage. So we're going to do a dark save for God first. And that is a fail, so it doesn't matter what you roll. Ed. All right, let's see. Draw for me one more time. I just need to see how far down it goes in this direction. Sure. All right. Jesus Christ. All right, so that one and the rest of them. Roll me your damage, yeah. my guy. Nice. Roll me your damage. You're all welcome for that. That was perfect. That was the best. Yeah, you, you hit almost all of them. But let's see whether they deck save out of it or not. Can you what the damage? fuck? Bro, that roll. Let's go. Jesus Christ. All right, let's see if they fucking pass. All right, so we got one, they get, two. Do they get disadvantage on it because of darkness? No. Yes. Um, I think so. Oh uh, well, not all, oh, not so all well. of them, but yes, yeah, some of them do. My hope. That was my hope. All right. So let's see. One, two, three, four. I don't think Savage can hear five. that. Hear what? The sound bite we're playing in chat. Uh, nothing came up in chat. Oh no! It's it's uh, in Discord. It's in Discord. Do you have your your sounds turned off in Discord? Yeah, on uh, yeah, my soundboards. Yeah, just uh, just turn it on for a split second because everybody else can hear it. Just let me know once it's on. Okay, I gotta remember how to do. Uh, you should just be able to click in, in the channel at the at the bottom. There's like a little open soundboard, and then there's a volume on the right hand side. Turn it to like forty percent. Uh, I see. What option? So, so like, um, where it says your voice is connected to the chat. Yeah. And then it says, oh, turn on camera, share your screen, start activity, and then it says open soundboard. Oh. It looks like a little megaphone. And then on the top right, there's like a little sound thing. It's probably at zero right now. You can put it to like say forty percent. All right. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's welcome for that. Yeah, I actually got to turn it on anyways because I'm 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 gonna be setting up fucking soundboard for I my, won't my use sound it back. Irresponsibly. I won't use it irresponsibly. Yeah, I, I just have to. I will. You yeah, please or don't. Can be set for me. Well, I, when when <laughs> just it, when it uh, first came out, they were, uh, we were playing WoW, and I guess one of the hotkeys, one of the keys somebody was using for spells and shit. Wow. And nobody could oh, figure out fuck. what the fuck it was. But it, we're sitting there trying to play all half hammered, and he just starts sending off fucking. It just keeps playing the same thing, and like, you know, it, like it, crickets it, and drum basses over again. Oh yeah, it, it started to sound like fucking like a DJ. Like it would start, and then he he'd keep hitting that button, and it's just do 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 okay. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, uh, I'm I'm getting ready to. I've actually actually already got a bunch of buttons. I just haven't connected them to anything yet. But let's see. We have one, two, 
four, five, six, seven cards. So, where's the deck save? Oh. I mean, it doesn't even matter if they fucking have disadvantage some of them, because, yeah. Four, yep. so. Nope. One. Two. Four. Five. All right, then we got the depot. Kill Manjaro. Kill Tacular. Jesus Christ, really? Okay, and then we got adults. What the fuck? Uh, can you draw that for me one more time, please? As your fireball goes off, fuck, uh, you see one of the goblins uh, immediately catch fire and just scream and fall down. Um, the other ones make no physical sound. However, you do hear the sizzling and crackling of fire. And I will move back with my movement. Okay. Bugbear's prep. Which is not a lot of bugbear. Hey. Ray. Hi. What's up? Um, I will just stay where I am. Because it looks like things are maybe out of, under control for now, but I will um, cash a lele and then, yeah, that's it. Okay, and you know what? With this view, <laughs> yeah, no, you guys. Uh... With all these goblins already arrows knocked, ready to fire at whatever comes out of the darkness, the bugbear is ready. Warning stars in hand. You guys see nothing else coming out of the darkness. However, you do hear, I who turned off the lights. I'll release darkness. And as you release it, you look into the hallway. Um, several uh, corpses lie burned and scorched. Lifeless. And there's nobody else standing there. You hear uh, Yak yell, Shut them doors! Lock it. Bugbears rush over and shut and lock the door once again. So are they too burnt to harvest? Oh fuck yeah, they're they're it's I mean be like throwing mushrooms into a goddamn fire. <laughs> they're done. Christ took me longer to set up than it did to actually run it. Hmm. Sorry, not sorry. I was really hoping that was gonna work out. Beautiful setup, Zan. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, they all just failed the checks anyway, but you know. Yeah, we got lucky on the dice, but you had them queued up, so even if they did get the first one right, the second one would have fucked them. Um, I was hoping. 
I like the way you think. So Yuck turns and says, ah. Uh, Sometimes he has good ideas. Thank you for mm -hmm. for the mm -hmm. uh, assistance. However, he did kill one of ours. We require five it? gold for his life. That's all? Will you take two? <laughs> Persuasion. Guidance. I know I have to be touching him. I got it. Two and a half. Done. And as it all settles down, uh, you hear Yak tell the goblins to uh, uh... <laughs> Well, looks like we got some new ingredients for the stew. Clean them up, boys. And a bunch of the goblins. Uh, start... Respectfully, those are our kill. Yeah, respectfully. Yeah, you gonna you gonna haul around corpses, are you? Just little parts. I just want my friend to have first bit at it. Everything after that, you can chop, cook, blend, saute, whatever your heart desires. I mean, what else are they good for? Ray it's just is like, thing. like rubbing her hands together, like just eager to get in it. Jesus. I like magic. What can I say? Very well. Take what you want. We'll take the rest. Thank you. Oh. Goblins back off and wait. The goblins back off and wait. Okay, what can I harvest from these things? Yeah, we'll we'll step in to, to harvest. Uh, priority will be the the mushrooms, and then is there anything else that we know that we can get that might be of interest to us? Um, the only oh, thing these great. things are good for now is food. Okay, so so nothing for the the mushrooms for her. No, he already asked that question. These things are scorched. Okay, well then, if that's it, we'll just take another look over, find nothing, and let them know that that's all. Unless they have any items on them. They do I don't not. I think they carry pockets. Yeah, I figured they didn't carry pockets or anything like that, so. Naked as the day they were grown. Yeah. Gross. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Can I barter a deal? Because technically, we did the killing. We're sharing the loot, which is their bodies. Can we trade for some dead babies? I'm fucking dead. I love it. The, uh, the one looks it over, says, well, I really don't have any use for the meat. Well, you do when it's cooked and you're eating it to survive. I'm not the chef. You still need to eat food. Yeah, we get cool. going to go in the community pot. Uh, I'm I'm not paying for that. You can ask Yak how much you'll buy them from you for. Dead ones ain't got nothing to do with me. On the contrary, they're about to have a lot to do with you. We didn't kill them, as you so stated. They were coming for you, buddy. We did you a favor by not letting them murder you. <laughs> all we're asking for are some dead babies, and that is all. Well, how about a discount on the dead babies, then? Yes, discount on the babies. Ask Yak! Where's Yak? Okay, we'll give the spiel again. Yo, 
give us a discount on the dead babies in exchange for dead grown-ups. Well. To be fair, you'd have lost a lot more than one goblin. Uh, yeah, we are technically we're fighting your battle. I mean, I don't know. We you're pretty set up. Since they came out of that darkness, they were dead. I'll tell you what, though. I'll tell you what. The darkness was cast by me. I'd like to point out, not by your team. Yeah, exactly. I'm a valued customer. Okay. Fine. Yes. <laughs> I will give you two gold. But when they come back, I'm going to tell them who killed them. Wouldn't you tell them that anyway? I'm a businessman. You pay me for silence. Never saw them. It's okay. If they come back, you can deal with them on your own. Deal. So, oh. I'll give you six gold a body, or twelve gold a body, if you want me to be silent about where they came from. Can you give us more per body if we want us to be silent? I'm confused, too. Yeah, sorry, reverse side. Oh. My bad. <laughs> We didn't want the money. We just wanted some of the mushrooms. Your shop clerk increased it by 40% or 4,000% the cost of what it was last time. <laughs> he did what? Yeah, he was offering them for 10 for a gold before, and now it's four gold per one. Well, that might be a 400% increase. Either way. He looks over quite a lot. at the goblin. Schmackle. Did you try to upcharge? You started this fight. I, I had nothing to do with it. Uh, like you say, you know, our job is to make money. I was just trying to make us some money. And the Mike and Ed's attacked. He hauls off and just smacks the fuck out of this goblin. Uh, although he is originally a goblin. Uh, he looks humanoid now. So, like, it just looks like he's smacking an ugly child really hard. Oh my god. And the goblin just like flies backwards, kind of slams into this uh, this column here. And he seems kind of dazed. Fine. One gold. Wait. No, I'm getting on it. There's uh... What was he charging for the mushrooms before? Ten for one gold. Fine. Leave us the bodies. Uh, you can take what he has of those mushrooms for free. And I'll keep my mouth shut about where these bodies came from. That is very gracious of you. That is all we wanted. One time only. One time only. Of course. Of course. We expect to pay a proper rate for them in the future. He, he goes behind the stand and he, he uh, picks out the mushrooms. He says, these ones, right? And they are the correct one. So he okay. bun he bundles them all up, uh, and I believe I said he had 40. Yeah, it was 40. He hands them over. And he says, <clears throat> You, goblins, pick up the, uh, the bodies and take them into the back. We'll have the cook start them up. Uh, they, they carry all the bodies off. For the first time in a little while, Ray is a little bit happy. Bro, that was wild. That was... Did you hear that? <laughs> yeah. I did. That's cool. I like it. Um... He says, uh, well, is there anything else I can do for you? 
I just have some shopping to do. Very well. Uh, everybody, it, it is safe now. You may go back about your shopping. Uh, the commoners kind of trepidatiously uh, go back to the stalls they were doing the shopping at. Uh, the Durgar never really fucking moved much. I mean, they, they pulled out weapons to protect themselves, but they had not really any uh, any inclination to join the fight unless they were attacked. So they never even is, left is where they were. Is this man still confused AF over here? No, he's... Uh, <laughs> he's it, figured it out? Yeah, yeah. I mean... Yorgar have dealings with Drow, so it wouldn't be the first time that they've seen darkness. Yeah, that's fair. That's totally fair. Um, um while Val is shopping, can Ray just go to the vendor that has <sighs> the cat on a stick? Oh, you and buy... it's good. But oh, that's what you were gonna do? Yeah, that's all good though. That's perfect. <laughs> no, so I was the same gonna... music. I was gonna buy one and then go to the room that we used to stay in when we stay down here and like leave it on the bedside in case she comes back. That's different than what I was gonna do. Uh, that's cute. Okay, that's what that I'm gonna do. That's cool. You're gonna, you're gonna buy a, a cat that's been roasted on your bedstand. Well, yeah, in Ren, case Ren she's comes on back. Ren's bedstand. Because uh, Ren loved the cat on a stick. Yeah. Well, the 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 place where you guys were staying was basically it was just a safe spot it wasn't beds you guys had well, your bed that's roll. what i'm doing i'm just gonna leave it in the room in case she comes back we don't know and if she's hungry okay sure just feeling sentimental uh the goblin you, you would think most people would be rather seeing your um physical features they'd be rather strange about selling you some uh fucking roasted cat however this one does it without a qualm he says ah cannibalism eh can't say it's something i'd do but hey each their own right <laughs> and he he sells you one i believe uh they were like three copper a piece uh sure and value you, uh you're also there you, you might see this a little strange ray buys one of these but uh uh, what about you, Tiefling? What, what, what do you need? I would like four cats, please. Four cats it is! Uh, well, I'll tell you what. I'll give you four for the price of almost three. One gold. For the four. Fair enough. Uh, I will ask them, I will ask Zen. Zen, would you mind putting these in your bag of hunters so that when Ren comes back, she can have a snack? He nodded, for sure, for sure. And uh, how much was that? Four cats. Four cats on a stick? Yes, sir. Oh, I have all Ren's meat. Sad. Okay, she's going to be doing plenty of hunting. <laughs> Ew. She'll come back someday. Hey, and the meat pies are good, and I and Ray will gladly eat a meat pie in Ren's honor. Very well. Yeah, not right now, but like he said, meat pie, speaking. not cat on stick. Yeah, meat pie. Yeah, because because Ren's got a bunch. Yeah, yeah. So you guys finish up. Okay, now combat music. Come on. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> All right. Um, so as you guys get your um your food. Or is there anything else you want to do here? Y'all heading off? Just need to stop by the blacksmith for the bit and uh, manacles. The oh right, the the tongue depressing. Yeah, and the silver shackles. Yeah. Yeah, you you stop by. He's got them prepped. Ah, I see again. Uh, I believe this is what you ordered. Yeah. And he pulls Looks... out what you uh, what you ordered. And I will pick it up using cloth to shield my hand and. Put it in the bag of hold. All right. Thank you, sir, and I'll see you in a day for the arrows. Hi. Have a good one. Thank you. You as well. So it would have taken you second level, probably an hour to get down here. You guys left about eight eight thirty, so it's about. I think we left at nine. Nine? Okay, so I'm going to say it's probably about 11 by the time you get down here, had this whole interaction. 
And then, uh, you guys just fast traveling to, uh, Spellport? Kinda, yes, please. Kind of try. All right. Uh, so. Yeah, try at least as a keyword. Yeah, you got to get down to third level and then find your way back in. Yeah, the Dur uh, Durgar have you on track, so. Actually. Uh, yeah, it's a mostly safe travel. Are you guys going back the same way you did before? Because there's no raft there anymore. You guys took it. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, Isn't it only, like, chest deep? No. no. Oh. I it... Certain parts it is, and certain parts it's not. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, because uh, the, the poles were, like, 10 feet. And there were certain spots where you couldn't touch the bottom with the pole. Yeah. Poop. So, where are you guys on this map? I believe you guys are, yep. So, you can't quite fast travel all the way. Being fast travel down to. Uh, you can pull your familiar back out where you guys are up here. All right. And Kukra as well. All right, so now that you get back down to the third floor and you guys remember that, fortunately, Raft is no longer there. Realize you have to take a different route to get back. Uh, at this point, it is roughly a, about 1230 by the time you get here. So, what direction would you all like to go? Okay, well, ain't this a pickle? <clears throat> well, I personally don't remember which way we were supposed to go for the other direction. Val, do you happen to remember it all? Yeah, but we got, we had a dead end up there. What if we get down to the beach we were at where the rats were and try and navigate from there? Might that put us closer to the end? The what was? Where the rafts were the first time on the river. Okay. You guys make your way um, through the tunnels, the ruins. And you recognize this area excuse me, as where you picked up the raft now unfortunately there is no new raft here who's the ghoul uh not supposed to be there okay i was like what <laughs> he followed you no i uh actually i think it have been up here you guys did not see before gotcha So we head west and try and curl south. Well, what's over here? Do we we didn't check out this, right? That is a unworked tunnel. Um, if you go further this way, then it uh, it's worked tunnel, and this one is unworked. Looks okay. like natural crevice. Okay, can I just peek around this corner a little bit and see? Sure. Oh, I well, uh, I, I it looks like it goes for a way, guys. Should we 
maybe continue down here a little bit and see where it cuts into the river again, or maybe it heads out to the left more. Let's give it a try. Let me open up a handout for that level. I mean, what do you think, Ray? Sure. We can try it. <clears throat> All right, so there's 13. All right, I need to more hand. And oh, not that one. It is. Okay. All right, you guys make. Yep. Oh. I'll bring Yukina with me. And I would invite uh, Kugra to take point. Okay. I I could do that. Uh, as you guys traverse through this tunnel, uh, you can clearly hear the water um, running on the other side of this. You also hear it behind and ahead of you, tunnels. Looks as natural as anything. As he continues on, uh, he has his shield and his weapon out just in case. Zin will nod. He has his bow out. All right, it looks like we got another uh, another shore up ahead. Uh, he, uh, Kruger can give me a perception. Oops. Huzzah. I think I see a boat. Something on it. Up ahead, it uh, looks like a skeleton of some sort. A skeleton, you say? Does it appear to be moving, or just the dead variety? Uh... Seems living, but I don't see no weapons on it. Interesting. Uh, I do know sometimes, uh, sometimes, uh, people animate the skeletons, but not made for attacking. Along the, uh, river Bograth, they'll often act as ferrymen. You pay them and they just take you down river. That uh, that might be worth our time if we we're lucky enough. Uh, let's let's not move too hastily, though, just in case I'm wrong. Then nods in agreement and keeps his bow out. <clears throat> As you guys uh, move further inward, um, oh, where did Uber go? He just disappeared on me. He moved uh, further inward. Yeah, he's like right below me right now. Oh, yeah, my screen is not there. Uh, 
He's so smooth. Stopping. <laughs> yeah, he's um, as you guys get to here, uh, do me a favor, delete him and bring him out again so I know where he is. Um, you guys see a door on your right. You also see an unworked uh, tunnel here and what looks to be the shore. Sitting in the water is a black hull ship. Uh, sorry, boat. Does it look like it would hold all of us? Be a tight fit, but yes. Uh, you see a robed figure staring in your direction. The figure is quite obviously a skeleton with hands. He's sitting on the edge of the boat. A pole in hand, which you guys would definitely tell is like a fairy pole. The hull, well. however, is carved with earring eyes. Val, having memories of his necromatic days, is going to stride boldly forward in hopes of starting a conversation. Hello, sir. Hello. Can you hear me? It nods. Perfect. We're seeking uh, transport down the river. Might you be able to assist us? It nods. Vertically? Yes. Like, nodding is up and down. Shaking is left and right. Left. I got you, okay. Uh, and would there be a charge for this? This uh, is some Pirates of the Caribbean shit, just saying. Right? Totally. I would say this is more uh, more like River Styx, honestly. Is that, that black too. and white? Uh, <laughs> River Styx is basically, you know, the, the ferryman? Uh... Costs normally two copper to take you to your afterlife. That's why people would put the the two copper coins over the your coins eyes. On yeah. Your eyes. yeah, yeah. Um, he he uh. Okay. He shakes his head no. In response to your question, Val. No fee? That seems sus. I'm looking at Kugra spell slots. Yeah, Kugra would be to, rather... Uh, uh, this thing has no alignment. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry, I, I'm saying wrong spell. I think uh, maybe I was thinking of Divine Scent. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, so you can't tell alignment, but it is definitely undead. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, it is. It's definitely undead. But he waves one hand toward, uh, from you to the seat, the gondola. And do you know where we're going, sir? He points downriver. But I was going to circle back with the party and murmur. He says he'll take us downriver, but I don't know if he's going to stop when we want to stop. Then we jump. That's a good point. Ray the cat is going to mm. jump into a slimy river. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds sus to me. Uh, just a little bit. Just this a whole little situation bit. is sus. We could always yeah. take the boat. I mean, after all, he's undead. It's not like he has property rights. <laughs> <laughs> uh... I'd rather do this peacefully. He he may be just undead, but his owner probably is a little more than just undead. 
Gugra pipes up. I can do either one. I'm about peace, but the undead just makes the hair on the back of my neck stand. But I'll do whatever it is you lot wish. Shall we try peace? And if he starts to get crazy, we can try war? Yeah, always start with peace first. Yeah, we're supposed to be the good guys. You sound Sadly. so disappointed. I know. <laughs> it's so much easier being a bad guy in D&D. Oh, you pissed me off, you're dead. Diplomacy, who cares? That's murder hobo talk, and I will not stand for this. <laughs> well, that's why I said start with peace. <laughs> yeah, murder hobo, we're just spiritual uh, guides. We help people over to the other <laughs> side. Okay, Mr. I magic missile somebody because they tried to pickpocket me. <laughs> I mean, that's valid. It wasn't the wrong choice, though. <laughs> See? That's the problem. Is That was actually a good call in, in the end, it seems like. They were going to try to take everything we had. Exactly. Uh, actually, if, if he got away with the pickpocket, they would have let you go. But he oh, really? Didn't. Yeah. Damn. I thought he was taking his entire bag of holding. Oh, I mean, yeah, if you guys hadn't noticed, like, the rest you would have made out with your shit just fine. Yeah, but that's still... That's, <laughs> that's, that's, I'm that's just a saying. fightable offense. Uh, yeah, it, it is, it is. <laughs> I'm just saying that, you know, if you guys hadn't noticed, then, yeah, he, he would have just... They would have let you go. That would have sucked. <laughs> that would have really sucked. Yeah, 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 we'll get there. It's all good. So what do you guys want to do? Let's follow the ferryman, shall we, Chance? And yeah, ladies? let's take the ferry. Yeah, let's do it. Continue the peaceful way. If we turn into this is the way. Along the way. Yeah, this is the way. <laughs> Just remember, no good deed. Goes punished. Goes, uh, uh, I believe the saying is unpunished, but you do you. Not in your case. Every time we do something good, we get shot in the face. I don't know about every. <laughs> like a 90 10 split. Ah, uh, 60 40. 60 40. Uh, 75. Yeah, okay. I think the six is upside down. Exactly. <laughs> nice. You guys are just hopping on then? Yeah, let's do it. Yep. You guys hop on, and uh, he immediately pushes out from the side. Starts taking you guys south. Uh, let's see. Uh, once again, you pass by, pass by the uh, ghost, ghost-like visages of pirates on the shore down here. And you guys continue. Uh, there's no attacks made this time. But you do see some people back on this place where you did uh, kill. Um, bunch of drow. There are people up there, and you, then you notice one of them sticking their head over. But no attack comes. You guys make it. However, as you're about to pass through the, the uh, gate, uh, left my skeleton alone. Interesting. I did not see that happening. Comes an echoey voice from nowhere. You all recognize the voice. Ugh. It's the Roll mad mage, of my it? eyes. <laughs> Val proceeds to piss on the skeleton. <laughs> Zip. <laughs> oh, God. No! No, no more pee. Well... It seems that uh, you have learned your lesson. Okay, now just don't be a dick. Come on. Not everything down here is going to kill you. Even if it seems such a way. Maybe you guys will be great entertainment after all. <laughs> and it fades out as you guys pass through a darkened portal at the end of the river. It is going to be about one thirty now as uh, 
Uh, Valorant, you can pull out Kugra. Here. Right. And as the gondola. enters the area it gets to here and it looks like at first it's going to hit the um what were those called again otters they were like yeah augers augers that's Bad it augers as you guys approach the augers they stop spinning just at the point where they're under the water and the boat passes by unhindered it docks for a moment and as you all exit, immediately, the skeleton turns the boat around and heads back up river. Interesting. Well, we know where we are. As you guys enter the area, uh, with all the Duergar standing upon the walls <coughs> and around the interior, uh, start to pass through. And one of the Duergar steps forward. Aye. You finally taken care of the Xanathar. We're starting to get word he's uh, getting ready to muster forces. Hopefully we'll beat him to the draw. See that you do. Ah. Ugra. I've seen you thrown in with these lot. I hope you're actually going to fight for them, unlike what you did for us. Ugra pipes up. They're honorable. You are not. Ah. Fuck honor. It's about gold in these parts. Power. I'll send word that uh, you are to be... Uh, that your group are to be able to pass... safely. And he begins to head off towards the gate. Uh, as you guys pass through uh, this fortress... Uh, you feel plenty of Durgar eyes turn towards you. Nobody really says anything. And... Well... Oops. Oh, map. Oh, yeah, that is right. We'll be right once I find you guys. Ah. You're allowed passage across the bridge. As you make your way, uh, where are you heading? Shall we try to recruit the mage and the other members that we semi-allied with on our way there, or just hit it raw? Sorry to mean it like that. <laughs> just kind of popped out. Okay, maybe we talk to the mage first. I think that's a good idea. And which one was that? You met a couple. The uh, black dragon? Yeah, the dragon one. Bell racks. Which was...
that was upper. Okay, so you guys are on the lower level. You got to make it up to her. All right, so now it's getting about uh, 2.30 by the time you make it all the way over here. But you get to uh, Felraxis. Uh, I... Here. Did you make your way towards the door? And you knock. Right, sorry, it was this door over here, my bad. Because he, like a... Got it. Alright, so as you knock, after a moment, a copper, as most of you see it, dragonborn, door. Ah, oh, you're back. What is it that you need? Hello, can we um, come in for a moment to chat? Very well. He steps back. Please shut the door behind you. Well, and then I'll shut the door, of course. What is it that I can do for you? Okay, we do. We don't have much time, and then Zin starts to fill him in on our plan, um, and then I am going to ask him if uh, he would be interested in assisting us in the interim while we work to get the Lord's Alliance in place. <laughs> How do you mean exactly about getting the Lord's Alliance in place? No. Well, if we uh, how how do, how would you expect me to be an interim leader? Well, well, you see, we we would assist you a little bit, but the hope is that in if anything were to happen in the interim of the few days, it would probably be more small scuffles. So we would have you as the lead, and we would effectively be the muscle in the scenario to assist, and we'd hopefully. If you could get a few people that you trust around town to assist in us in the meantime, knowing that this is going to be very good for the whole of the Skullport community in the long run. Eat shuckles. People I trust in Skullport. You must be joking. There must be someone, at least. Perhaps people we could hire in Skullport. Mercenaries, if you will. He looks between all of you, and his gaze settles on Kugra. And as he looks him up and down, he says, What about his people? Um, I'll, I'll um, turn to the mage. He seems to be kind of in the same boat as you and I. It would seem. How so exactly? Uh, Kugra. He might be the oddball out. Kugra kind of acts like he. Not really listening to the conversation. Checking out around. And uh, he says. <laughs> Belrak says. He chuckles. Come now. That armor. That axe. Made of copper. I know what ilk you are of. Now, Kugra looks like he's paying attention. I don't know what you're talking about. 
I happen to take this armor and weapon off of a, a dead mercenary. Hmm. Did you now? And the rest of the clan didn't come and find you and finish you off. I find that highly unlikely. You calling me a liar? Not a liar, just suggesting that your friends here don't know everything, that you're hiding something. Are we all, though? Well, I don't see any special significance because I don't know he's a black dragon. Uh, he looks at you, Val. Quite. <laughs> and he kind of looks at Zinn and grins. Val's he... got a blank look on his face. He has no idea what he means. <laughs> he, uh, he, he looks at the at the armor again and kind of Plays a finger onto a, a symbol that is on the armor. Well, you see, this armor and this weapon are. And Cooper immediately tenses up. You shut your mouth, Dragonborn. Oh, see? Hiding things. I think we all have things in our past we'd rather forget. That's not something I'd readily hold against someone. Well, I would be remiss in not warning you that I would not be one to trust that mercenary band. Her pipes up. Near do I. So perhaps there's more than one, or... People you know that we might hire day laborers that could at least fill a suit of armor while we wait for help? The only mercenaries down here are the Duagar already had interactions with. They run the mercenaries, and anybody else down here do not dare cross them. Unfortunately, there is not much aid down here. Okay. Well, then any support you can give us personally would be greatly appreciated. We'll need all the help we can get to pull this off in the end. And the Harpers are of no use, I take it, as usual? Yes. Unfortunately, yes. But they are setting up the end plan, so for that I am grateful. I feel that you might be... Excuse me. Walking up the voices again. I feel that you must... You're going to have a problem finding anybody... I fear it is simply going to be chaos down here. Your everyday scuffles will have to be dealt with by mob justice, as we say. Okay. Sounds like we'll have to do our best to keep order until the Lord's Alliance shows up. Yes. It does. It does. Still a better alternative to what the current stance is. Just hope they don't burn the city down in a few days. Right. Ah. People of Skullport have been through a lot. Those who stay do so out of necessity. Most people are not wanting to start things. However, I have heard something about a group of Row rogues running around. If anybody was going to try and grab power, probably be. They are not that you want to get on the bad side of. I believe their name is, uh, Reckon Darth, if I remember correctly. Something to that effect. 
led by a uh, drow that hardly anybody ever sees. Very wide purple brim hat with a plume and a several rings across all his fingers and an eye patch. But if he comes into power, well, the Lord's Alliance is going to have quite a fight on their hands. Zin nods, knowing exactly who that is. Yes, let's let's hope we can avoid that. I don't think that would be to our advantage. Ah, probably not. Well, we won't know if we don't try. That's right. Uh, Zin will hand the monocle back to Falrax and thank him very much for uh, the use of it. Not a problem. Glad it, uh, did it did it come in handy? Oh, very much so. Oh, so I take very, it you found him. Oh yes, the illithid is no more. So, turns out he was a uh, part of the uh, the controlling power. Ah, he was part of the Xanathar Guild. <clears throat> I see. Well. Taking your first step in weakening them, then. That is good. So I take it you are off to the Xanathar Guild soon? Yes, actually, right after this, to be honest. I see, and what do you know of Xanathar? Uh, that he is a beholder and, out, and that he is very paranoid. We're hoping to lean into that with our plan. Well, some also say he's mad. Much like I've heard he, that as well. The proprietor of this of the Undermountain. Alistair. I will warn you, you should really hope that Alistair has not uh gotten a hold of Xanathar as of yet. Two mad men or two mad beings, definitely. Turn a bad situation worse. Alistair is about his entertainment. Nothing will entertain him more than throwing the area into chaos. Zin nods. Yes, that would not be desirable. It raises the question, though, given that Alistair has almost complete control over this place. Even if we set up democracy, does he just knock it back down? Well, there's only one surefire way to make sure that doesn't happen. And he kind of uh, smirks. Uh, a big dragonborn tooth. Yeah, I'll put that on my bucket list. What is a bucket list? A list of things you would like to complete before you pass. <laughs> well, be forewarned. You're heading after Xanathar. You better work on that bucket list first. Duly noted. That seems like we ought to be, uh, Moving on, no? Unless there's more? Yes. I think it is time to go. One more thing. Mm. No, he's a beholder, but you know the things that he can do. Any the information is welcome. Well. Exactly. One piece of advice. Make sure to stay out of the out of his uh, main eyesight. You will find that any magics will be lost, including your items. Oh, shit. Uh, I'm going to allow 
Valoran. You are the most likely to know about this. You may give me your choice of an arcana, uh, a history. Oh, okay. 15. Um, what he is describing is basically an anti-magic field. What that means is while you are in line of sight of his eye, his main eye, everything that he can see loses its magic. It means spellcasters lo lose attachment to the weave. Anything that you cast while in that will, you'll burn the spell slot, but nothing will happen. Um, your magic items will lose their magic until you are out of line of sight. Um, and anything that is cast, that is a concentration, you will lose concentration on as soon as it turns to look at you. Uh, or any magical effect. Um, in its, when it turns its vision, will immediately be dispelled. Crazy. Well, all the way back in town then. Kidding. Okay, so we have to be sneaky about it. Thank you for the warning. Yes, uh, as it looks like most of you have magic and magic items, I would highly suggest spreading out. Do not stand all in one spot. Or you no, will surely fall. Great advice. Also be careful, uh, he does have what some people will mistake for beholders, but they are much smaller. Called spectators. Groupies? Right. No, no. Um, things that are not beholders, they come into existence when a beholder has dreamed them into existence. These creatures are much smaller. They have less eye stalks. They're not as dangerous, but I can promise you they are still dangerous. If he has several spectators with him, he will surely fall, no matter what you try. Very careful. But that is about the amount of help that I do wish you luck, though. Well, That's a lot of words to say. It was nice knowing you. <laughs> <laughs> With any luck, you'll pull through. You made it this far. Not many people uh, come down here, get into fights, and live past the first day. Maybe you'll get lucky. We'll take luck. Luck is welcome. I don't seem to have much of it these days, so. Now, now, think positive. You know what? I do have one more, <laughs> one more thing to help you. Since you don't have any luck, maybe this will help. He pulls out a small stone. It's in the shape of a cat head with two small emeralds for eyes. I only have one, however. Zin looks at it. What? What is it? It gives you a, a touch of luck. It does require attunement, but if you are going after Xanathar now, then I can maybe cast a little something to help one of you attune to it right now. But I need to know who's taking it. So, DM to player, uh, you guys can look it up in the compendium. It is called a Luck Stone. I believe it's one word.
and uh, you guys can. Stone just... of good luck or luck stone. Oh, I see. Yep, 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 yep. I see it. Yeah. Um. But with that, really checks and saving throws. Well, I I would say either Val or Ray. Let's go with Ray. Heels will keep us alive. True. Yeah, yeah okay, that would be good because because uh, ability checks and saving throws that counts for like her con saves and stuff, right? Yes. Oh wow! Yes. Do you have a free attunement slot, babe? Yes, I do. Then has just called uh, Ray babe for the first time, and she had absolutely no reaction. Oh, shit. <laughs> Ooh, <I'm blushy. laughs> He's just being assertive, uh, that's all. Out of character, yeah. okay. <laughs> being bold. Wait, wait, I got the perfect thing for it. <laughs> nice. What that? I think that barely came up on stream. I mean, up a bit. Do it again, right? Please. And one more it? time. All right, I, I think that's pretty good. I'll mark that so I can take a look after and see if it actually loud enough. It's uh, very well. I can also add anything else anybody else wants, by the way, for that, as long as it's, like, reasonable. Uh, Ram Ranch, you should do that one. Oh, God, no. <laughs> oh, you know what that is, eh? <laughs> I've got teenagers. I know exactly what that is. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, that's actually one I'm putting on my soundboard. <laughs> nice. Uh, actually, I don't know if I can, because it goes through Discord, and Discord saves my VODs. Maybe I won't be able to do that one, but... Uh, anyways. Um... Says, uh, oh, one last thing. And says, uh... Who wishes to have some actual luck? Got lucky? No, not the feed. About to give something up. Oh, gotcha. It's temporary. Cool. But I defer to the party. There may be more judicious use. Mm. I like things. Um. I, Val, Val, perhaps you should take the luck. I mean, I'm not very lucky myself, but uh, I want to make sure we get the best use out of it. I'll give it a shot and see if I can make most of it, if it's okay with y'all. He's in nods. I think it should be best if it goes with you. Now, keep in mind, when I cast this on you, it will be out. Uh, wait, no, it just lasts. Us. Yeah, it's not concentrated, nothing. So, okay, it won't get dispelled, but you will not be able to use this while Xanathar is looking at you. Got it. Okay. Belrax, uh, says, now this is, will take a few minutes, so please, uh, the rest of you have a seat. Valoran, stand before me. Here I is begins to wave her arms and chant. And this goes on for about 10 minutes. And she lays her hand, her left hand on your left shoulder. And the chanting raises to a crescendo. You now have Gift of Luck. Uh, you can look that up in the compendium. Oh, cool. Thank you. Question though, is this a guy or a girl? I'm confused. Uh, why would I say? Well, it started out male when we first talked to him, and then this is female. Gender's fluid, bro. No, it, it's a male. It's a spectrum. Shut up. Okay, cool. <laughs> it's a male. Yeah. Cool, cool. Um, so just so you are aware of how this works, uh, I know I I think you were still in the other game when when they started using this. I'm not sure, but. This spell will give you advantage on up to three rolls of your choice. Uh, they have to be d20 rolls, though. 
So Got it's it. cool. You know, saves, skill checks, and uh, attacks or saving throws. Um, you have to choose if you want to use it before you roll. Got it. Clear. There, there's still some some people in the other game that keep forgetting that it has to be before you roll. Yeah, because it doesn't work like Lucky works, right? Exactly. Gotcha. You have to announce it before you make the roll. Yep. And it will not work in Xanathar's Gates. Got it. And you know what? Oh, well, cool. There, she's actually going to hand uh, Zin back the monocle. I expect you to bring this back once again, once you are finished with Xanathar. If you live. Of, of course. Thank you for letting me borrow it again. I greatly appreciate it. Now that he knows what it does, this is huge for him, right? So he'll uh, gladly accept. Well, I wish you luck on your quest. May luck be with you. But I do have work to do now, so if you wouldn't mind, and just wave you towards the door, like, you know, not too rude, but a nonchalant way of being like, all right, I'm done with you. Thanks for everything, and it was good knowing you. Um, let us be on our way. Um, and then, uh, Savage, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. We're the um, we said that because uh, because our new companions are Drugar, he could pretend to be part of the Xanathar Guild with Val and I. Or no? I Sorry, say that. say that again. So, because the original plan was Val and I are pretend to be a part of the Xanathar Guild because we have the insignias, hide. Ray in her pocket, but I couldn't remember if we said that our new companion, the mercenary, could pretend to be a part of the guild as well or not because he's Drugar. I, I thought we did. But... I thought I thought I'm... we did, but I wasn't oh, he, 100%. I think he's got a uh, disguise spell or something. Well, yeah, I think he said he had something, but I couldn't remember. I was like pretty far. It was a hat. Yeah. Uh, I think he's oh, got a, a hat, hat, a hat right. of disguise, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. So he can. Okay, cool. Yeah, he's got a hat of disguise. How long does the hat of disguise last, though? Uh, Old days are at all. Hat of disguise. You can use an action to cast a disguise self at will. Spell ends if hat is removed, but how long does the actual spell last? One hour. All right, welcome back, everybody. So, as you guys begin to head out, time to make your way to talk to. At the Xanathar Guild? Or you're talking about Narl, the drow that we need to talk to? No, no, how to get there. Oh, um, I don't know if you actually gave us, like... Oh, I definitely you did. Told yeah. us where, you told First us it was, level. like, in a ton of, tunnel in the northeast. No, I gave you but, a specific no. place. I'm asking Black because I, I gotta find it in the handout if you don't remember. Black oh. Flagon, I think. The Black Flagon? That's what I recall. Oh. I do remember that. Is that this thing right up here? The worm? No. Uh, no. That's there, There's no black dragon. There's dragon and the flagon. Ever, but I know that wasn't it. I think no, it might have been, been Guts and Garters. That was it. Yeah, yeah, Guts and Garters, but isn't <laughs> this Guts and Garters? Uh, no. No, that's... Okay. Uh, so Guts and Garters where we got into the, the far Yeah, It's uh, in the, the middle level. Yeah, the second level? Yeah. So you guys got to make your way back down. I'll pull you all over here. <clears throat> Open that hand up. 
it's so hard when you try to keep track of all the names and places. For real. And we lost that our... That basically oh. are just sounds. <laughs> we lost our official note taker. Yeah, yeah. We lost our official note taker. Um, yeah, and she hasn't given me her notes at all either. What? I thought she, she, thought she was going to hand you guys over the... I mean, everything with her works a little bit slower. Damn. <laughs> she's just a uh, very... She can be forgetful sometimes, and she's camping right now, so I can't even message her. How dare she have a life? Who I pretends know, to be homeless? Oh. Don't you like camping? No, no, I've never seen the point of pretending to be homeless and pay fucking like hard earned dollars for that shit. Hundred dollars? It's like five dollars uh, for a campsite. Hard earned, and no, not around here. It's not. It's it's like ninety eight bucks a night or something like that. At a campsite that you bring your own shit to. That makes no sense. Unless you're going to, like, a, a fucking provincial um, forest, and you're camping out in, like, actual wilderness, not a campsite. Yeah, campsites here are, like, almost 100 bucks a pop for a night. That makes no sense. That blows my mind. Here, where we actually have wilderness, it's, yeah, like, yes. $5. Exactly, where you have fucking wilderness, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> until I get to the other side of Toronto, there ain't no fucking wilderness. And even then, you got to go north to hit wilderness. Uh, anywhere, like, between Ottawa and here, which is, like, six hours drive, there's there's no fucking wilderness. There's You, you can get campsites. Wild. Yeah. Yeah. Trust me, well, once I get past Toronto, that was one thing I loved about fucking driving to Ottawa. Like, once I get past Toronto, fucking beautiful. And there's still only a little bit of wilderness. But you got to go further north, like where I went to the cottage last year. That was also like a four and a half, five hour, four and a half to six hour drive, depending on traffic. Once you get through Toronto, you continue north. Yeah, there's it. It, it gets fucking beautiful. Um, that's like all over. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, half your fucking province is a goddamn forest. Facts. Um, uh, but let me find the handout and. Uh. Well, port area, middle and lower. All right, guts and garter. There it is, 22. Now, where did you guys go on this level? Our first level yep. by the bridge. Copy. Um, I haven't changed levels yet. I'm still in the third level. No, so no. Uh, yeah. Okay. That. I just making. Good sure. thing you mentioned that because I was about to start. Oh no, you're you're you guys are on the the middle. Yeah. Is is the second level full of uh, all the? First, first and, and second level are on the same map. Oh. Yeah, yeah, no. I I'm on stair. I'm on like uh, the walkways right now. Yeah. Okay, that's second level. Yeah. Just making sure. Yeah. Okay, good, good, good. So, right here, there was stairs, right next to where you guys were upstairs. And as you guys uh, go back down the stairs, uh, which only takes you about 10 minutes, you guys get down here, which this uh, this building here is actually the uh, one of the entrances to Valrax's home. But you guys traverse, and you're going to... Oh! You guys haven't been to the Guts and Garters yet. No. -uh. Okay. Um, so Belrax would have given you direction. So as you guys traverse the pathways, follow her instructions. Get to a door here. Oh, so you guys haven't even actually met Quietude yet, right? Quietude? Yeah. Oh, you Sorry. did. Yeah, you were on the lower level. You didn't... Uh, okay. So you did meet her, but she was on the lower level. <laughs> uh, which in the beginning? Uh, 
the tiefling. Oh yeah, did she was she selling stuff uh like booze? Yes. Uh it yeah, it's yeah. an inn and tavern. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we, we did see her, but it was on the first level, yeah. And as you get to this area, um you realize that this door is locked. This is the inn side. So I guess she would have actually directed you down to the first level. My bad. Okay, that makes sense, because that's yeah. where we saw her the first time. You guys, make your way down. All right, so you come down the stairs here. Uh, so that would have taken you about 20 minutes to get down. So we're looking about uh, 1 o'clock right in the afternoon. You continue through the lower floor. So you get to here. That shop right here. As you walk in the door. The quietude at the, the back of the area. A um, few of the tables have some Urgar, as well as uh, a few Elven and Deep Gnome patrons. He fling stands behind the bar. Ah, welcome back. Do you wish for some drinks? Oh, by the way, what did... Uh, Ugra, self into. Yeah, that's a good question. How about a drought? Does that sound good? Sure. Uh, uh, Kugra agrees. And before you guys step in, uh, he will turn into a drought. Now keep track of this because it only lasts for an hour. Um, uh, by the time you get over to here, it's about quarter after one in the afternoon. And I'm also casting, uh, Major Armor. Okay. And the staff. Oh, yeah. Do I also need to shapeshift before we go in? Uh, probably a good idea if you don't have an insignia. You're going to burn a wild shape. What do you want to turn into? I was thinking something like, I don't know, like a small creature that could fit in a pocket. Well, I ask again, like what would you like to A mouse. Be? A mouse? Sure. Turn into a mouse. Whose pocket are you in? I'll be in Zinn's pocket. He called me babe. Oh my god, I'm never going to live this down. No, you're not. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, then in your pocket, you'll Ray squirming around. Trying to remain just still. Snuggly. Hey, Zen, is that a mouse in your pocket? Are you happy to see me? Yeah. Uh, huh. Well, in that case, I'm going to put... <laughs> Bad jokes. Ray, you are going to be underneath Zen token at the moment. But you've got a drow... Got Valoran and then three of you are wearing in sync. So, what can I get for you? Uh, Zen will be like, We have uh, some urgent business, and he's gonna tap just light, like nonchalantly tap his insignia. Smooth. As you do this, notice that a patron see it happening. They stare at you. Uh, I'm sorry. I I do not know what you mean. What what is that? As she kind of like leans forward, fainting a squint.
surely you've seen one of these before. I've, I would have no knowledge of this. Give me an insight if you wish. She's waiting for something, but I will. Anybody else? Uh, I'll insight her, yeah, sure. If I'm allowed to. Fuck Jesus. me. You guys got one other person that's not in a pocket. Cougar would love to. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, nice. All right, Valor, you're, you're the closest. You're not sure whether she's lying, playing dumb, or... Or if she's actually truthful in saying that she has no idea what that is. One of the uh, other one of the other Duergars uh, at a table nearby. I'm gonna say you guys are probably a little closer. One of the other uh, uh, a, a table nearby says, "Are you daft? It's a fucking Xanathar guild say, uh, insignia." And you see several of them at the table stand up. A few of them pull an axe. You're saying you're with the Xanathar guild then? Would appear that way. Hmm. You best be leaving soon, or I'm sure to cleave your skull. Zin and Valorant. Two of you can give me a perception. Ugra draws his shield and weapon and quiet to Oh, gentlemen, gentlemen, there's there's no need for fighting. This this is a peaceful tavern. Please, please. Ugra doesn't seem to notice, however. Zin. You see one of them in the back kind of try to make eye contact with you and wink. Zen will be like, ha, I've lost my taste for meat anyway. Let us be gone. Thinks around here. As, so you're all leaving then? Kura says, should, what? Are, are we leaving? Yes, we're leaving. Hopefully I'm picking up on this correctly. All right, you guys start to head out. And as soon as you get outside... Uh, I don't have another token prep for this, but... That is not actually quietude, it's a different person, but... As you guys exit, somebody approaches from behind. Are you fools? Walk in to a Xanathar hideout and you proceed to announce yourselves in front of everybody with open warfare going on? Are you crazy? I do not have time to waste. I have very, very important information, and I need to see Xanathar right away. I have no time for games or such subtleties. Oh, well, you just about uh, let the Duergar know that there's a hideout entrance here. Go up to that the... a little concern to me if Xanathar does not exist tomorrow. Very well. Go up to the next level. Y2 to let you in and smuggle you down to the, the entrance tunnels. <laughs> and future reference, maybe lean in, use some code or something. Maybe the password next time. Jeez. She goes back inside. Let me get the password. Oh, I know. But there's a password. But you did, uh, yeah. you know, Xenathar's life's in danger, right? 
Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm playing into like this is too urgent for me to care about the subtleties. You know what I mean? That's yeah. I'm just trying to like. For sure, for sure. That, that was good. I I like that honestly. Um, but it is going to take you guys another tw <laughs> twenty twenty minutes, minutes to get back up there. Up. Yeah. Yeah, we're huffing it at this point. You know what? If you guys are kind of running, I'll I'll cut it down to fifteen minutes. All right. The thirty after. Uh, it from thirty after, yes. So you guys got forty five minutes left on your hour long stuff. Got it. Got it. Which, uh, Ray, how long does your wild shape last? Is it an hour? Uh, let me check. I think it's an hour. Or it's either equal to your um an hour or equal to your um. I know wild shape is such a long, almost as long as the lycanthropy. Uh, uh what did you say? Duration, uh, how long it lasts? No, not you, not you. Either. Yeah, it says number of hours <laughs> equal to your druid level rounded down. He Googled it. I was reading the whole thing. He found it first. <laughs> yeah, I just figured if I Googled it on the 5e rules, it'd give me the, you know, the highlight of it. Yeah. So, and you guys are, what, level 7? So it would be 3 hours. Yeah. That's pretty solid. Damn, really? 3 hours? Yeah, unless I'm wrong, but, like, that's, I just, like I said, I Googled it, so... Yeah, but she can only use it twice per day. Yeah. I'll check. Level determines what. Gotta transform. Dice. Yeah. Gotta. Uh. Uh. It's actually uh. Wild shape uh resets on a short or long rest. Oh, short or long rest. Yes, like but she has to be out of uh, wild shape for it to rest. Even if you're traveling, it won't, and, and she's wild shaped, it won't consider a short rest. Good level determined. Rating. Shape number of hours equal to half your druid level rounded down. Yeah, so three hours. <coughs> Um, but as you guys uh, approach, um, Ugra lets go of his disguise self and then recasts it. What continues? So he resets the time. Oh, that's awesome! I yeah, the hat of disguise—it's it, an at will. It doesn't burn oh, slots. It nothing. Beautiful. It's just he can drop it and recast it. That's amazing. It's just a problem if he happens to, you know, drop it or recast it and. Presence of somebody, right? But you guys get up uh, up top and you hear a knock. Or sorry, you uh, you knock. Uh, quietude opens the door. Let me. Got to bring quietude up though. Quietude opens the door. Hurry, get in here. Next time, password, right? Understand each other? Understood, understood. I, I'm just in a rush. This is very important. I understand, but even so, don't use the password. It, I mean, open warfare is already here. It'd be a problem oh. if, if the Duergar found out uh, I'm harboring a entrance down to the lair you know yes yes of course anymore? of course are we still using the password we were using before the big fight i don't believe uh they they gave you a password okay no 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 that's my question to her i'm trying to bullshit her to get her to say it because i don't know what it is she's going to check you Which 
she uses the commoner stat block, which I think is ridiculous for somebody who's harboring a fucking hideout, so... Yes, of, of course it's the same one. You know. Fuck, now I gotta think of a fucking password. Huh, something silly. All Banana hands, Anatar. sandwiches. <laughs> yesterday's cheese. Okay. Yeah, yeah he asked cheese, for right. yesterday's cheese. Are, like, are you new? I'm just forgetful, I apologize. <sighs> what, whatever. And she takes you down uh, some hidden stairs. Over here. Uh, in this room. She unlocks the door, looks around. And it leads you down a tunnel. Alright, let's... Oh, I'm sorry. I should have given you some information, but um, uh oh, I don't like to hear that. It's okay. I'll give it to you now because Matrim definitely would have brought it up, knowing where you're going. Uh, he would have told you that there is a Harper informant as well in Danathar Guild. His name is uh da 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 da. I just thought where to go. Thorvin Twinbeard is uh, a chief engineer. Got it. Um, but as she leads you down, Tiefling will lead you down hidden stairs. Let's. Got a. Yeah, so there is a certain here. Right, it's not the normal there. On map oh. load. There we go. Okay. Ah. It says, get to the end of this tunnel. It's going to look like a dead end. Have, have you been there before? I have not. So you really are new. Yeah, sorry. You get to the end, put your hand on the stone, speak, password, and then walk through the wall. Yep. As you guys head in to this uh, somewhat work stone tunnel, the beams and pillars are looking rather dilapidated. And no, you can't see it yet because I don't have a map for the tunnel just once you get in. Um, beams are looking rather dilapidated. Not very sturdy. You guys walk along several points where, you know, you hear creaking and the dust falls from the beams. Um, almost hear shifting of rock. But after about 300 feet, nearly two minutes, you arrive at what like a dead end. What like to do?
Yesterday's it? cheese. No, and you lobster. have to put your hand on the stone. Oh. <laughs> okay, yeah, you, you, you stone. say yesterday's say cheese, yesterday. and nothing fucking happens. Damn. But then you put your hand on it, and you try again. As Ray... Actually, from your pocket, all you hear is squeaking. Hey, like, oh, squeak, right. squeak. Right. <laughs> put your hand on it and say, yesterday's cheese. And then as soon as you finish the word, while you're kind of putting your hand against the wall, and sink in the wall, you walk through. I'll bring you guys over. Uh, so that lets you in. And I will... Go ahead. However, as you start to pass through, The pocket that Ray is in seems to snag on the doorway. Doesn't seem to be letting her in. Shit. And I assume that you kind of just strode right through, right? Yeah, I mean, I was thinking there was going to be no issues, so yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately. Ray, you are a mouse. And then suddenly... <laughs> your... You feel your mouse bones break, and you immediately pop back into your... Uh, morph back into your original form. Then, the rest of you goes through, and with a sudden force, uh, you, you kind of find yourself sprawled on the floor. Let me... You in. However, you also find that uh, your pants are rather torn to shreds. Uh, you're not buck ass naked, but there's a basically it is torn from your pocket down to your knee, where she kind of like expanded and immediately like you know pushed through the seams. Yep. Yeah. Ray, you are on the other side. Yukina is on the other side. Okay, well, my screen is black, but yep. can I quickly poke my hand on the rock and say yesterday's cheese? And you walk through as it gives way and lets you in. And I will dismiss my owl and yesterday's cheese and the hand on the stone. I will unsummon and resummon Yukina. Okay. Effectively. That's my last time I could do that for free today, so. Yep, you can pull her out. My my screen's still black, I think. Unless I'm unless it's another large map that I can't oh there it's it is. It's a large map. Every time. Without fail. Okay. And Cougar will pop in as well. Bring him in, Valorant. Yep. And I'll bring back Yon Owl. Yep. As you guys pop in um, to this area. You notice that um, much of this area is both worked stone and what's wood floors. A um, little ratty, dilapidated, but it smells strange. Not really rotten, but not pleasant. The smell of dust and mildew. Down here, the the walls seem to be sweating. It is pretty warm. Um, the hallway before you seems to be lit with floating purple fire. Also notice eyes 
in interval spots sticking to the wall. And though they're, uh, they blink now and then, they don't necessarily look like they're staring at you. Before you lies a door here. A door here. And what looks to be an alcove. Um, however, whether it's a hallway or an alcove, you're not sure. Nobody seems to agree. Okay. I hear much in the way of no sound. What would you like to do? Um, Zim will probably ask uh, Ray to shapeshift again. Okay. If she can, wild shape. Changes back into a mouse. You pick her up and you put her in your, I take it, other pocket? Yeah. I'll cast repair uh, I... as many times as needed to repair Zin's pants. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you mending? Mending, thank you. Okay. Yeah, sure. Uh, two quick casts and we'll do it. Thank you. Not a problem. Well, so we advance. Cougar is going to boldly step forward and lead us down the hallway. Yes, we shall. And he'll be looking for traps. Sure. <laughs> Actually, okay, hold on a sec. Hold on, give me one moment. I'm going to bring Zinn and stay back out. Okay. Oh, that is the wrong way. God damn it. Oh no, I didn't want you to see that. There we go. Thank you. So you pass by this first door. Um, no sound seems to be coming from that direction. Uh, I, th my suggestion is we keep moving forward then. We need to pretend we're, we're being urgent and quick. Sounds good. Did you guys get to hear? Ubra kind of puts his hand up at her, kind of like, uh, makes a fist. Which guys been enough combat and taking things to know that means comes back for a moment because this thing is floating in that room. Any points down this hallway here? Zin nods, um, and as he nods, he's gonna walk over to Val and then put Ray into Val's pocket. All right. Now I need to bring. I'm sorry. I just like if I step <laughs> out, I feel like she's gonna turn into a human again. So. All right. Give me a sec. God damn this motherfucker. And sorry, you can bring your familiar back out again, Val. Okay. Do. Okay. And Zin's gonna motion for everyone to like hold and then maybe for um Cougar to step back a little bit. 
or we'll do so. Oh, wait, did nobody hear that? No. Oh, sorry, no. Oh, okay, sorry. He's going to start j lightly jogging in place and then start making his footsteps a little louder and louder and louder, and then he's going to start running around the corner and be like, Xanathar, Xanathar, I need to speak with Xanathar, and pretend he's like out of breath. Like, like he's just, this man's in a hurry. So as you enter this room, you see, first off, um, these large creatures floating near the top. They resemble large, very, very large spores. Um, and they each have one eye. And at first, they almost look like beholders. However, they don't have any eye stalks. They have one central eye. And the zombie beholder, which if you've already faced one, you know what they look like. It looks like a beholder, however, it is rotting. Um, its eye is glazed over. As you enter the room, they all turn to you. None of them make a motion towards you. However, what do you, what do you wish to do? They don't move towards me? Not yet. Um, I'll be, I'll just like, where's Xanathar? I need to speak with that Xanathar, and I'll just keep kind of moving forward. Hopefully this is fine. Spores keep their eye on you, however, they float near the roof, and the roof in this area is about 40 feet high. The okay. beholder, however, beholder, the beholder floats near the center, not too high off the ground. It continues moving as it continues to stare at you. Yep, I'm going to pretend I'm rushing then, so I'm going to start, you know... It floats down like as, in front as of you. I'm looking frantically. And it keeps its eye on you. It doesn't attack. Uh, like right in front of me? Yes, it blocks your path. But it doesn't attack. You do? Uh, fuck. Um... I'll, I'll move up and then up and then forward. He moves with me. It does. It, it uh, kind of groans louder. Where is your um, Ignea? It's in front, like on my chest. It's glazed or, wait, over. Wait, where have I seen? Sorry, I was going to say, sorry. Where have I seen it on the other individuals we took it off of? Uh, usually they are kind of like under some wrapping, like you got to pull something back to actually show oh, like it. underneath my cloak a little bit. Okay, yeah, I'll yeah. flare my cloak out to the side to show the insignia. Oh, it moves out of your way. Okay. And then um, I'll uh, I'll yell out, "Hurry up! You, the rest of you lot, you guys are running behind." Now that I know it's not Xanathar, and I'll continue moving forward. Goes back to its position, floating in the center of the room. Make sure you show the insignia. Don't be a dim dimwit. Val and Cougar will take this hint and jog forward. Hands ready to ride the insignia. You can now uh, will rush to catch up to you. Okay. Yeah, the uh, um, yeah. sorry, go ahead. I can't move. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, uh, it's because you're in a wall. Oh, okay. Thanks. Yeah, if you go past dynamic lighting, I've got it because the because I've got it set so you guys can open doors and shit. Um, got it. Uh, it it restricts movement once you once you're on on or in uh the dynamic lighting wall. Right. It keeps it so you guys can't get past the wall. <laughs> Makes sense, makes but, sense. But you can get through a door. As, uh... Ugra steps in and 
Joe's his insignia. Ugh. Rotting teeth showing. In what seems like a smile, but you feel it's probably just how its face is held. We'll Great. show our insignia and tap on it and smile as though we belong there. Well, Zin, you are at the door, sir. Yeah, I'm going to keep up with the urgency, so I'm swinging the door as if I don't have time to wait. Yep. And I'm kind of, I'm going to keep up the pace for now. Just, I want to make it as audible as possible. Got to sell it. All right, and... Losing Ray. And I'll stop there, I assume. Because Ray's not moving her token with you. How dare she? Um, I'm in a pocket. <laughs> yeah, but he can't move you. <laughs> you've got to, you've got to move with him. Wherever he lands, just move yourself. There you go. Uh, as you enter here, <laughs> this magically lit hall, um, has eyes carved into the walls of all shapes and sizes. Many of the orbs have stone eyelids that open and close at irregular intervals. Uh, Valorant. If you wish, you can do a quick arcana check uh, as you pass by. You are fairly certain of nothing. These are strange. All right. Um, also in the room, you see. <laughs> oh, okay. What is it? You see a strange gnome. Deep gnome. Seems to be dressed in a Dirty but colorful costume, which uh, you all would recognize as a clown. Interesting. Um, <clears throat> Boy, I or did I put him in the wrong fucking hallway? I'm sorry, I remember here now. I'm wondering if I put this guy in the wrong hallway. It's all good. Fucking riddle was bad. What is black and white and No, no, it was actually something kind of plain. problem. And had something solved it. We could just kill him and loot him, if that's easier. Jesus Christ. We're not moving America hobos, I swear. Well, I'm trying to help you out, bro. <laughs> Fuck. You know what? Um. Uh, all right. So this creature, uh, dirty, dressed up like a clown is doing somersaults and flips. Um, but it is quite obvious that he is exhausted. And yet he continues. 
Oh, hey, yeah. You, you like my flips as he continues to go um, a few times, starting to almost land on his face, uh, seemingly from probably exhaustion. Uh, Zin's going to keep trying to play on, play into his, his, his uh, like, a, a frantic thing. So he's like, Xanathar, where's Xanathar? I need to speak with Xanathar right away. This is important. This is, this is urgent. Uh, uh, try, you try his chambers. Uh, hey, hey, hey. What's, uh... What's bulbous and open, but when closed, is blind? He continues to uh, do somersaults. An eye? Yeah, an eye? it's an eye. Oh, congratulations! Thanks. Now I got to keep doing this. And he continues. <laughs> he's like, I, I, yeah, he's like, he's like, very well, very well. W which one is his chambers? I, I have, I've not been here. I've been stuck up, stuck up there being an informant for so long. Uh, well, go south. South is the way. Yes. And he kind of does yes, a somersault yes. and, and lands on his feet and just like does a Hercules pose with his fingers pointing south. That away. He's like, he's like, hurry up, hurry up, and and he points to the other drow. He's like, you, as as we get through the door, make sure that uh, no one falls off. This 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 is very important. I I don't want anyone listening in. So that's to Stonecutter, Kugra. Um, can I, can I go through the door or should I wait a moment? Yeah, you can go. Okay. That, that, that's why that, that option is there. If they were locked, you wouldn't be able to open them. Okay. No, that's fine. I just want to make sure. Inside this area. Um, as soon as he sees Val step in, he'll motion for him to tell Cougar to keep coming. I thought this was the uh, actual main hall, but it's not. Pillars carved with eyes follow curvature of the hall. Eyes seem to track you as you pass them by. One second. Ah, I see. Yes. You may continue. Okay. Same thing. I'm going to keep running down. Running down. See another door here. And the hallway continues on. Oh, God. I'll, he said south. I'm going to keep going south. Uh, excuse me. You hear a robotic voice type up. Um, as you're running, uh, you notice a what almost looks like a warforged. However, um, this one is a little strange. Uh, excuse me. Uh, I'll be like, uh, "Where's Where's Xanathar? I need to speak with Xanathar right away. This is This is urgent." And I'm, as I'm huffing and puffing. Okay, and give me a second. Kind of looks at you, and you see his um, kind of robotic eyes. Kind of like, they almost look like lenses. And you can give me an insight on him as well. As his lenses uh, for his eyes kind of like turn, it, it almost looks like something like covers most of his eye. Uh, I am the Major Domo here. 
Nobody sees Xanathar without going through me. But I'm busy with the routine inspection right now. What is so important? Th 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 this is a matter of Xanathar's skills may not exist tomorrow if I don't speak with him right now. I see. Well. See, where did you go? Ah, well. Uh, follow this, and then take a left, as he points down this direction. Take a left, and, uh, then if, uh, you go down that hallway, you take a other left, and follow it until you see a door on the right. That, that'll take you to Xanathar. Thank you, thank you. And then with that, I'm like off, you know, continuing to jog away, trying to sell it. They said it left again, right? Uh-huh. Uh, as you enter that room, one move quite yet. Okay, I'll back up. As you run through or run into the room and look up, you can see up on the walls. In those spots, large eye stalks from the ceiling, middle of the hall. The floor is littered with bones, covered with a thin layer of sticky translucent slime. In the corner, you see several fish people who you already know are Kuatoa. They seem to be gathered in front of an iron portcullis in the southeast corner. You can hear the tearing of flesh from the bones. For the moment, they seem to pay you no mind. Mm. And it's sticky slime all over the bottom? Yes. I feel like this robot lied to us. You find that it is difficult to uh, walk on this. The room, by the way, is about uh, 30 feet high. So the uh, where the portcullis and doors are, the portcullis here, door right here, a door here, and a door here. Uh, those areas are only about ten feet high. Okay, I'm gonna continue my. My Xanathar, Xanathar, where's Xanathar? I need to speak with Xanathar shenanigans over here. The Kuatoa. Oh my god. I I I'm committed. We're doing it. We're just oh, this is gonna be so bad. Okay, we're going into it. Okay. Am I stuck? Oh no, you're not stuck. But it is sticky. Yeah. It is rough terrain. I'm moving through it like as quickly as I can, even though it's rough terrain, but you know, selling the whole time. And they said it was the door on the right. But they're both kind of on my right. And one's a door and one's a porticullis. Nope, that is no, a door. I mean, I mean, That's oh, a door. And sorry. Oh, what'd you do, Zen? 
I clicked it by accident. You saw nothing. No. <laughs> but I did. I did, actually didn't see anything inside of it other than like us. This like like there. That's what I can see. Good. Good. So I'm gonna go up for the top one because it has a bigger door though. Okay, and as you get there, uh, don't open it quite yet. I'm holding. Okay. Make it to. Okay. As you open or. Creatures immediately turn to you. A second. Okay. So, they immediately turn to you. You speak under common, right? Yep. Not allowed. Not allowed. Uh, Xanathar, where's Xanathar? I need to speak with him right away. This is urgent. N not allowed. And they begin to charge at you. So we're going to set up turn order for our next session before ending. So uh, since we only got five minutes, and I don't think you guys want to get into combat right at uh, the start here. No. Oh, my not. God, Val. Yeah, probably not. Damn, Val. Damn. God damn it. Mm -hmm. uh, you also notice, uh, Zin, in this room, it looks like uh, these doors, uh, they are wood with iron banding. And they each have a very small window, iron bars on them, as well as little slots. Jail it's jail cells. What? Did you roll Yukon in? No. Oh, I must have clicked on her token instead of mine last. Sorry. Is that? But that is my initiative, so All right, not there good. You go. And right, you are in Valorant's pocket and wild shaped. Let's see. If I should have. Wow, fucking really. Apparently. God damn. As he's um he yelling in front of you in undercommon of not allowed, not allowed uh picks up pitch. Uh I do want Ugra Valorant to make perception checks. says, uh, like we're about to have a bigger problem than that. And he draws your attention, Val, to Watoa that you guys passed. And as they turn, many of them still chewing the meat from the bones. 
hear them start saying something. And Valorant, do you speak under common? I do not. Ugra does. Uh, they're saying the same thing, and I think they're getting ready to attack. And at that moment, they all begin to burst in, all rushing towards you. And that is where we are going to end today's session, ladies and gentlemen. Bum, bum, bum. The finger. Cool. All right, give me a second to outro the stream, and I'll be back real quick. So, uh, thank you all for joining us here today. Um, we're ending that one on a cliffhanger as combat is about to break out. And they were quite obviously lied to that that is not where Xanathar is. So, it's going to be interesting to see how they handle this. Especially since, you know, there's I made sure that they know there's jail cells there. So, there might be people in them. So, I don't know. Let's see if uh, Val decides he wants to drop a fireball or not again. But hopefully, uh, I will see you here again. Uh, this game will pick up two weeks from today, same time. Uh, let's know what I got coming up the next two days. We have, um, I was supposed to stream tonight, but I got into a play test that I'm not allowed to stream. There's an NDA on it, so I'm really excited for that. But unfortunately, I'm not going to be streaming because I want to get into that tonight and give it a test. Um, we have tomorrow night, uh, we have the Adventures in Wildmount D&D game. That one is going to be um, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, we'll pick up with that one. They, they're in the middle of a war. They are losing. Um, but let's see if they can get to where they need to, get their artifact pieces and pull victory from the Jaws of Defeat. Hopefully, they only have so many more days in-game before, uh, before it is an uh, absolute failure. We'll see if they can make it. On Monday, we are going to be playing some X Defiant, I believe, with a few of the people from this game and tomorrow's uh, Wild Mount game. Um, both John, uh, Zequas, um, Black Up, uh, Heavy Metal Sasquatch will be joining me. So that, uh, I mean, we're not good at it, but we always have fun. So make sure to tune in for that. And then after that, I will be back on Friday. Um, I'm going to try to get some editing done. I've been neglecting my, my TikTok and my YouTube. So we're going to, we're going to get into that. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to get some stuff edited and posted and ready to go, but we will see you again. So just remember everybody. <sighs> Savage go home. Peace.